So yeah, I appreciate you guys being here tonight. Tonight I am going to embark on my Fallout 4 survival mode difficulty journey. And as most of you are already aware, I started this game for the first time a few days ago. And I played one session for about four hours or so. But I'm going to be starting over tonight because I'm really interested in the survival mode difficulty. I did a little bit of research. It seems like it's going to be pretty challenging. I don't really feel comfortable just switching to survival after I've already made so many mistakes on my first four hours of playing. I'm just going to start over and uh, we're going to take it slow and make sure that I, I really pay attention to the game mechanics and also I have to be a lot more cautious with the way that I build my character and, you know, gathering food and water and things of that nature. So, yeah, so tonight we start my Fallout 4 journey over. This is basically still going to be a first look at the game because I've only played for four hours or so in total. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm happy that a lot of you guys recommended survival mode to me. For some reason, I was just assuming that it was going to be like Skyrim survival mode. And uh, that was a little bit of a letdown. I liked it better than the regular Skyrim mode, but this actually seems like it's a little bit more hardcore survival compared to the Skyrim mode. So Carly, Carly, hello. So let's jump right in. Hey, Tara, Colin, Midian. Marshall Bloom, what's up, man? What's up, Twitch chat? gonna be good i'm really excited right now i really am i feel like i need a little bit a little bit of motivation to to get more immersed in some bethesda games and i think survival mode is really what does it for me so hopefully this is this is a good time tonight just gonna watch the cinematics again why not start a brand new let's play I'm not sure what build I want to play. I think I want to go pistol and sniper. But with that said, I don't know much about the Fallout games, so I don't really know. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather serving in the army wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen he got his wish when the u.s ended world war ii by dropping atomic bombs on hiroshima and nagasaki the world awaited armageddon instead Something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but, but as, as a, tool. a nearly limitless source of power. Damn it. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, People awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. That'll do it. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. Fucking send me in. Send me on the front line. I am afraid. Line. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Shit pumps me because out, man. Because my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes.
Oh, I watched that intro again. All right, y'all, let me get through the character creation really fast. I think I have to change my character's looks War a little bit changes. You're gonna knock for survival mode, tonight, right? Hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Also note, I am switching to mouse and keyboard for this session. So my first session, I played with controller. Now I'm basically starting over and I have to get used to the controls again. But I think mouse and keyboard is going to be better for this game. There's so much looting and things of that nature that it's a little bit annoying with the controller. So, all right. So let's let's keep the default face here. Let's, um, we're going to add the, I think we're going to have to add the, I think I have no choice right now. I think I have no choice but to, uh, but to add the, I mean, this is the real deal tonight. I have no, do no choice but to add the <laughs> playboy. That's funny. Where the hell is it? Where's the chopper mustache? I know it's here somewhere. Am I not seeing this? Hold on. There it is. Ooh, I like the beard. Okay. Ooh, my wife likes it too. Let's go, baby. And uh, I think I got to go with alpha male for the haircut. I mean, what do you guys think? <laughs> I think I have no choice. We got to do what we got to do to survive. Ain't no beta male surviving in the apocalyptic world. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go with that. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. I'm not going to get too, too into the character creator like I did last time. I think this guy's actually looking pretty damn good, if you ask me. We'll just mess with his nose a little bit here. So let's escape out a little bit. Let's pull that, pull that nose up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, there we go. He looks exactly like me, doesn't he? I think he's got pretty nice ears. Yep, what do you guys think? You think we're good to go? Let me just see what I can do with the eyes real fast. Um. <laughs> God, that's so these good. These games are... Bethesda character creators are always such a good time, aren't they? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I think we're good to jump into the world. I look like a straight-up badass. Chopper mustache, alpha male haircut. I mean... That's what life's about. Looking good, if I do say so myself. Shit, when do you name your character? I don't think I named my character. Did I mess that up? Yeah, no Keanu Reeves this time. I think we gotta go with this guy. Hey, Easy, what's up, man? X, hello. Scar tissue? Oh yeah, you're right. I should probably do some scars. I don't know where that is on the sculptor. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Hold on. Cheekbones, nose tip. Mm -hmm -hmm. I don't know. I think he looks pretty good. Thumbs up with the vault, dude. Okay. All right. So I'm good right now. All right. Let's push on. Oh, hold on. Let me check body. Oh, this is what I forgot to do last time. Maybe yeah, we got to jack this dude up a little bit. I mean, how do you have a chopper mustache and not be jacked out of your mind, injecting steroids into your ass for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so let's beef this guy up a little bit. Yeah, I like that right there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, we're all done. Let survival mode begin. Burt Reynolds. Hey, Oliver, Justin, hello. All right, so hold on. Make sure I can figure out the mouse and keyboard here. There's a chance that I could go back to controller, but for now, I think mouse and keyboard is going to be the way to go. So, hey, hon. I'll just be a minute. It's going to be so much quicker, like looting things once I, once I get the hang of it and everything. Whoa, whoa, I definitely don't have the hang of it right now. Oh my god, the radio, the radio, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Turn it off, there we go. You know, my first Fallout stream actually didn't get copyright claim, which is pretty amazing. My Dragon Age stream got about seven different copyright claims. War never changes. <laughs> I think I gotta turn the sensitivity down a little bit. Um, do, 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 do. Go down a little bit more. I have my DPI pretty high. That's probably good. All right. Got that right. I think I need to make my mouse wheel a little bit harder to scroll on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. 
I kind of like starting survival mode after I've already played this game for a few hours because it would be pretty overwhelming going into this difficulty with zero knowledge on the game. I still know basically nothing, but... I wonder what Sean will grow up to be. All right, I think we got to go to the kitchen. Go talk to Costco. What's his name? I don't think it's Costco, but I'm going to call him Costco. And I also know to keep an eye out for the comic books and also the bobbleheads, too. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Thank you, Costco. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Does anybody know if that's a legit comic? Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. Nuka Cola. Ice cold. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Graded A. Codsworth. Enjoy your coffee, sir. I like how this game just kind of starts you off as just like a regular husband, just living your life, your day-to-day -day life. It's a really good intro to an apocalyptic type game. Does this salesman just come, or do I have to activate something? Maybe I have to go check on the baby. Is that first? I can't remember. Hey, Codsworth. Now, don't you touch the laundry. <laughs> I'll take care of it. He comes for you every day. I think this is going to be a mouse and keyboard game. Good morning. vault calling. And referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. vault Remind me again. Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, vault is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Mm -hmm. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Maybe I don't want to talk to you. No, oh. <clears throat> you do. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault, vault 111. 111. Hell yeah, I'm all about it. Go away. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. We do need to verify some information to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of <clears throat> total atomic annihilation. Come back some other time. Come on, hon. It's just a little paperwork. Let him fill it out, and it's done. I said no! I am the alpha male of this household. <laughs> <sighs> You're right. Let's get it over with. Just need to get this pesky info all squared away. Okay, so I got to be a lot more careful now that we're playing survival mode difficulty with what I do here. So, <sighs> so let's think here. I want to be, I'm as of right now, my plan is I might be a little bit stealthy, pistol, sniper. I hear that weapon ammo actually weighs you down in this game. So, you know, we're not going to be hoarding ammo. I'm thinking pistol sniper type build would be really cool. Um, strength is a measure of your raw physical power. It affects how much you can carry. Um, actually, I think I have to switch to survival mode um, after after this screen right here. We'll do that. Um, I think we're going to do... We're going to probably bu boost up some endurance here. Endurance is a measure of your overall physical fitness. It affects your total health and the action point drained from sprinting. I think I'm going to have a little bit of a focus on endurance here. You guys told me last time luck was pretty important. 
general good fortune it affects the recharge rate of critical hits so i'll put probably four into that agility is a measure of your overall finesse and reflexes affects the number of action points so let's bump that up um shit man i'm running out of points here oh no <laughs> oh shit all right hold on maybe we'll go six endurance i think i want my perception up too environmental awareness and sixth sense and affects accuracy in vats oh man there's not enough points here like I can't dump strength either. How much you can carry, especially in survival mode. Um. All right, we're gonna have a we're gonna go charisma two. We'll focus less on dialogue stuff. Um, intelligence three. I feel like agility is like the way to go in survival mode. Let's go six agility, and four, and five endurance. Now I have two more points. What are you guys thinking? You guys got any ideas here focus on three stats you think but should i totally dump the stats that i'm not using or should i put a couple points into them what do you think thank you guys for being here tonight appreciate the thumbs up on the stream for all of you guys that are just tuning in right now i've played this game one time before and it was only for a four hour session on hard mode which is a few days ago and i just decided to start over and we're going to do survival mode difficulty so really excited for this session intelligence helps with hacking i probably won't be doing oh, what's up shy i probably won't be doing hacking because I don't even know how to do it. Last time I went into the computer, I was like, there's too many numbers for my brain to, <laughs> for my brain to take it all in. So I skipped out on the hacking and I just went with the lock picking. Gonna need Riz for survival? Well, shit, I need everything then. Right? All right, I'll tell you what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go... Let's see. Three intelligence, six agility... I, you know what? I think I like this right here. I like this. Dump points, focus, and main stats? You really think that's what you should do? You know what? Let's go two strength, and let's go three luck. And I'm going to put another point into endurance. All right. There we go. That's what we're going with. It is what it is. And then for name, I was wolf heart before, wasn't I? For survival mode, we have to be wolf. Yeah. Okay. Dump luck, you think? Everybody is telling I think everybody's got different opinions on this stuff. I'm gonna level so slow. Alright, let's go. Alright, alright, hold on. Hold on, let's get out of here. How do you get out of the name? Two four eight two. No no no. How how do I get out of this? Why won't it let me out of the name? Okay, there we go. Alright, let's go two luck. Let's boost up the intelligence a little bit, because that's how that is how you level. Let's go seven endurance, intelligence five. There we go. You guys think that's a little bit better? Perception for sniper. Okay. All right. Dump luck unless unless you want to max it. All right. I pretty much dumped it. I got a two. Armor level is four. Okay. I think I'm gonna go pistol and sniper. Yeah, for those of you guys that don't know what survival mode is, it's the hardest difficulty on this game. I think your base weapon attacks, I think, if I remember correctly, do half the damage that they do on hard mode in this game. And enemies also deal double the damage, I believe. And then you also have to drink, you have to eat, you have to manage diseases. Um, there's all sorts of things associated with survival mode. It seems like a real survival mode for an RPG, so I'm pretty excited. You need perception? All right, let's go with... All right, let's do... Um, I will... Um, I'll dump in dirt. Let's, there we go. We'll do that. That's perfect. Okay. Off off we go. Wolf. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sir, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. He doesn't like I robots. Think he needs some of that paternal affection. He needs some human He's love. Asko, now get the hell out of my face. You heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two hey, most Vixie. important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's it going? Hey, 
How's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. <laughs> I, would, I just want to role play this alpha male role like so bad, but I already screwed it up in the beginning. Oh god, there's some funny responses in this game. Watch TV instead. You all right? All right, I'm going to be nice. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Okay. Now keep in mind, y'all, I'm going to make a ton of mistakes. This is still my first time ever playing Fallout 4 for the most part. Um, somebody said there's a magazine under... I don't see nothing in here. I'll make sure I do a nice little search here, though, and check everything. Max, thank you so much for the $20 super chat, man. You've been donating a little bit too much, man. All right, so you are now banned from donating. How does that sound? <laughs> Max is officially banned from donating. I will not accept your donations anymore. Somebody said a magazine underneath the cabinets? I don't see nothing in here, so let's get out of here. Followed by... On the table? Yes. I don't know if you guys are trolling me right now, but I'm out of that room. Screw it. We do a quick search here. I know I gotta be careful with what I search in this game. We gotta look out for everything. We do, oh, we no. do have we do have coming in. That's um confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My god. Oh uh -oh. We, we need to get to the vault. Shannon, thank now. you so much. I've got Sean. Let's I got go. you with the perception. Thank you, thank you. Silver Lightning, thanks for the two. Max asked me to donate since he's banned. <laughs> you guys are clever. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are ready thanks, Max. We'll head to the tavern at some point in the stream. I don't want to uh, click off the screen right now because I just started it up. But as always, drinks are on Mad Max tonight, folks, at the Krusty Wolf Tavern. Explore the other houses. You're crazy. There's a nuclear bomb coming in. You're out of your damn mind. What's <clears throat> up, Jam Dragon? That's absurd. I am Not on the list. Sack. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop Sir. me. Oh we need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Now the cool thing is, I am going to listen to, well, I think the game's a little bit loud. I am going to listen to all the content. I'm not going to be skipping things, even on this run, even though I already played for four hours before. Um, but it's going to go a little bit quicker today, because at least I have like a base, very basic understanding of the game. You know what I'm saying? We'll leave it right there. When last session that I played, I didn't know anything that was going on. So. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? everything we can. Now this keep way. moving. God, it's such a good intro for a game. Like, it really is. If there was ever a game to introduce a survival mode to it, Step Fallout the is the game, right? The I'm so happy that they uh, Sir, they brought it to the to game. You down to the Step on the Thanks, Chris, for the ten dollars super chat. Right, Appreciate it, man. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you, both of you. We love you too. Oh my God. That mustache should sort the nuke out. Exactly. See, at least you understand me, Roy. Everybody else is accusing me of toxic masculinity. Like, all I did was show off the chopper mustache. <clears throat> yep, mouse and keyboard tonight. We're making a switch. I feel like this game's better with mouse and keyboard. We did it. We made it. We're okay. All right. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. <laughs> Mrs. Okay, Whitfield? Situated in your new home. <laughs> Vault 111. It's just kind of A funny, the names. Underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. 
All right, let's get out of here. A minute later. No, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Max, you're absolute madman. You know what? We we are going to the tavern right now. Even I don't even care if this screws up the screen. Max, thank you so much for your long time support on the channel. I appreciate it. I really do. Skull, brother. Absolutely massive donation. I can't even speak the amount. It's too high. Like, you guys would be messaging me to send you money if you guys saw the amount that Max donated me. You know what I mean? Please proceed. Hey, Bentley, Odessa, what's up? This way. Email and smooth good. Step over to the table, take a suit. You'll need your suits before we can proceed uh, further. Thanks. You need to, uh, what have now? a glass of shut the hell up. Here. He'll show you where to go. All Just right, this way. Three. Follow me. You ever thought about that, ma'am? See? Just step over this to the table. I have to, est I have to establish that I'm the alpha male of this vault this as soon as possible with this mustache. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out ways to do that. I gotta let these guys know. Take a suit. Here you are. Yeah, Head down looks the hall fine. There. All right. It's down the hallway right there. Well, no shit, dipshit. Right sake, dude. About to start swinging. It's gone. Male, female, Every robots. Day. I don't care. Nothing to see here. Oh God, honey, what if they didn't make it? Christopher Gross, thanks for the twenty dollars super chat. Been a lurker on your stream since BG3's early access, but I wanted to say I appreciate how you treat your fans. Also, don't sleep on charisma. Settlement supply chains and multiple bases make survival mode more manageable. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. Such a lovely family you have. You'll see I will. I'll think about that. Thank you, and Mr. Jack. Holy crap! You guys are just step in here and put your vault suit on. Like it's the first the first time I stream Baldur's Gate three early access right now. You guys donating like crazy. The pod will decontaminate. Mr. Jack, hey, we'll start watching you through all your BG three coverage. Your let's plays are really chill. How much do I have to tip to get you to romance Matt Creedy? I don't know who that is, but I'll I'll consider it. Resident secure. Thanks, Mr. Jack. Vitals. What's up, Fanto? Spiraline, hello. Procedure Alpha Mal with two strength. Somebody, uh, temporary ban for Spiraline 69. Eight, Get him out of here. Who the hell is Matt Creedy? I don't think I met that character last stream. Yeah, I think if after I finish this game, I might try 76, and then we might go back to Fallout 3, and then maybe even 1 and 2, because those are CRPGs. Hello, Estony. I think another condition of survival mode is you can only save by sleeping in beds. So I'm gonna have to figure that out real fast. Otherwise you lose all your progress if you die, I think. Nobody kills my wife, but me. At least I still have my hair. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Who could have shot the baby? I know, right? Make sure to save a good amount, but not too much. You'll get diseases and shit. Oh, great. I think I'm probably screwed on this run, aren't I? I've only played New Vegas, Barrett, for about 40 hours. That's the extent of my Fallout experience. Okay. Here we go. I hope they give you, like, some direction on how survival mode works. Let's go to settings, gameplay, and here we go. Oh my god, it's harder than the very hard mode? No description or anything? 
All difficulty levels affect damage and the chance to encounter legendary enemies. Survival adds additional challenges such as no fast travel and saving only when you sleep. See the survival entry and help for details. Okay. Survival adds additional challenges. No fast travel, save it on your sleep, increased lethality, sickness, fatigue, and more. See the survival entry, gotcha. Okay, so let's take a look at this. This is probably smart to just quickly go over. In the struggle of this world, is the struggle of this world merely a pleasant game for you? Do you long for a more brutal take on a life lived? Post-apocalypse. If you answered yes and yes, and survival difficulty is for you. Survival upends many of the rules of life in the Commonwealth for maximum challenge. For a full list of these challenges, see below. Saving. Manual, quick saving, and most auto saves are disabled. To save your game, you'll need to find a bed and sleep for at least an hour. Survival makes it more challenging to keep yourself in top health and high spirits. Food and stim packs heal at a significantly slower rate, and you'll need to pay attention to your overall wellness by staying properly fed, rested, and hydrated. See, survival healing changes. Gotcha. You now deal, but okay, you do deal more. Never mind, you deal more damage. You now deal more damage, but also take more damage. You can see the increased damage you deal even further with adrenaline. See the survival combat and adrenaline entry for more details. Fast travel is disabled. You're able to carry far fewer items, including ammunition and stim packs, which now both have weight. Oh, great. I mean, at least I just got done playing Dragon's Dogma too, so I'm used to uh, encumbrance management in my inventory. Your companions can still help you carry the load, but their capacity has also been decreased. All right, Adrenaline. Survival automatically grants the Adrenaline perk. Oh, nice. Which provides a bonus to your damage output. Unlike other perks, the only way to increase your rank of the Adrenaline perk is by getting kills. The higher your Adrenaline rank, the higher the damage bonus. Sleeping for any amount of time will cause your Adrenaline rank to lower. What? Taking your damage bonus down with it. Hump. Well, you can check your current Adrenaline rank at any time in the perks section on the stat tab in your pit boy. Well, shit, man. All right, be sure to keep your eyes peeled as enemies will no longer appeal on your comp not appeal, appear on your compass. The distance at which locations of interest will appear has been significantly shortened as well. In survival, both you and your foes are deadlier than ever, so don't expect to survive more than a few hits for most of What? A few hits? Good armor, reliable cover, and tactical thinking are critical. Well, I got all three of those categories covered, right? Choose your openings wisely to make the most of your own increased damage. All right, so that's I think that's going to work pretty well with a pistol, you know, sniper stealth build, right? All right, survival, rest, wellness, and fatigue. The, the types of bed you're sleeping in determines the length of time you're able to stay asleep. Sleeping bag will save your game and may save your life when you're desperate. A mattress offers strong healing and can clear most of your fatigue. The comfort of a bed allows for a full night's rest and all the benefits that come with it. Wellness, you'll find it difficult to survive without taking proper care of yourself. Hydrated, fed, and rested to remain combat ready. Going for extended periods of time without food, water, or good night's sleep will begin to adversely affect your health. Hurting your special stats, adding to your fatigue. Why didn't they add a survival mode like this to Skyrim? Like, Skyrim's survival mode is so, like, basic and boring. Alright. Fatigue mostly comes from being tired, but both hunger and thirst also affect it. Fatigue works like radiation, but also affects your action points rather than your hit points. The more fatigue you've built up, the less AP you'll have for actions like sprinting and vats. Damn, that's rough. All right, then we have illnesses. Eating uncooked meat, drinking unpurified water, taking damage from disease-ridden foes. Okay, when you're afflicted with an illness, you can check specifics by navigating to the status section. Insomnia, you get less sleep than desired. No way. They ha Look at all these illnesses. Parasites takes more food than normal to satiate your hunger. Damn, man. Doctors can heal your wounds, cure addictions, and banish diseases for a price. Antibiotics, which you can craft at chem stations, purchased from doctors, are found in medical containers. Herbal remedies, which can be crafted at chem stations. Items that cleanse your body of rads come with the cost of making you tired and temporarily damaging your immunity. In survival, the rate at which restorative items like stim packs and food recover your health is significantly reduced. You'll need to time your healing precisely. Crippled limbs will no longer auto-heal after combat and will remain crippled until healed by a stim pack. If your companion goes down during combat, you must heal them before you can get back up. If you leave the area without healing them, they will return to recover. 
All right, looking at an item's value is a good way to determine how much that item will counter your thirst and hunger. A food's bonus effects, such as increased carry weight from Radstag steak, will only appear if eaten when you're not currently hungry. Damn, man, this is like, this is deep. Keep in mind, certain items may not give you the results you expect. For example, chems and alcohol dehydrate. Caffeine makes you hungry. Caffeine gives you a short reprieve from your tiredness, possibly buying you time. Dude, how long is this list? Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. Weighted ammo. Bullets and shells now all have a small amount of weight, which varies by caliber. Heavier items such as fusion cores, rockets, and mini nukes can really drag you down. In survival, both you and your companion's carry weight has been significantly reduced. Exceeding your carry weight reduces your endurance and agility stats and periodically damages your legs and health. Oh my god. Dude, I might have to... I might have to cancel this stream right now. Carry weight for companions has been reduced. Companions will also no longer automatically get back up if down during combat and will return home if abandoned without being healed. Locations you've cleared will now repopulate with new enemies and loot significantly at a slower rate. Instead of allowing fast travel with strong back rank 4, you no longer take damage from exceeding your carry rank. Okay. Well, this is a lot more than I thought I was getting into. Hey, Zilchus, what's up? Catport, hello. Pan Dragon Pink, what's up? Hello. Let's do it. Let me see if I know how to, like... Yeah, like I said, you're gonna, you guys are going to have to give me, like, an hour or so to get used to the mouse and keyboard controls here. But this is going to be so much better looting things. Come on! There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. I don't think you can open up any of the other ones. I'm already, like, trying to see if I can do everything in this mode. Do this. Oh, wrong button. Tab to exit. Gotcha. <coughs> See, I want to pick up everything, but at the same time, it's just like, what's my encumbrance levels in this game? Broken. How do you sneak? Oh, there we go. It's control. Okay. I can probably go through this section pretty fast if we just do some quick looting. I know I missed some items last time, though, so maybe I should take my time here. I can probably pick up... I don't think I need a clipboard, though. I can probably pick up a lot of things here. And then just sell a bunch of things when I get to, like, my first, you know, base or something like that. Gotta make sure I look out for those bobbleheads in those magazines. And I'm really bad at seeing things in video games. So you guys might see me pass a couple bobbleheads. I'm just warning you right now, you're gonna get really pissed off at me. But I want you to plan ahead right now, okay? And manage your anger. And show me nothing but love and compassion, okay? Because even though I am an alpha male, okay? And I got the chopper mustache, I still have feelings. Great little stupid cockroach. I think I gotta be careful even fighting these Giant. things, because it's like, if Roaches? I take damage, like, I'm pretty much screwed. Oh god, please don't have radiation. Is that purified water? I don't trust it. I'm not doing it. Not touching it. Not touching anything that looks suspect. I don't see anything in here. You guys see a bobblehead anywhere? I mean, like, I really have to focus in if I don't want to miss things. You know? need to help you think i'm letting you help me survive gm dragon you're out of your damn mind i don't trust you got a toaster sure i'll take a toaster why not okay Wait, this is a game? I missed a stim pack already? I'm already missing things? Holy crap. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, well, screw Fallout 4 survival mode. I think I'm hooked right now. This is going to be like Road Trace all over again. <laughs> this is great. Oh, this is great. I love this. What the hell is that mask right there? Am I supposed to get that? I don't know if I am. I think I'm just going to go save the uh, damsel in distress here. Oh, no. We got to try it one more time. can't believe I missed this on my, on my run yesterday. I don't think I can sprint or anything. I mean, if I beat this game, I basically beat the game, right? There's no sense in playing anymore. All right, let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, you can jump on those things. Really? Straight up ripoff of Mario, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, 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 no. What? It, I thought cause I could have sworn to let me jump on it earlier. That's freaking bullshit, man. Game is rigged. All right, one more time. Watch this. I got this. Okay, okay, okay. I guess you get you get points for jumping over it. I think. It's not actually landing on it. Yes. yes. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Easy stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Here we go. Here we go. Am I allowed to go near that thing? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, but I'm going to... Okay, all right, we're done with this game. You guys already know my record that I have in Rotris. I don't got nothing to prove to you guys. Oh, yes, let's go, man. I missed that on my first run, too. Hold on, I'm looking for the stim pack now. I don't know if it was back here, but let me just do a quick search if you guys don't mind. I got I to gotta get used to what these things look like. There's a stim pack on a desk somewhere back here. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay, great. Oh, wow. And a Nuka Cola. I missed a lot. Okay. You guys were yelling at me for missing that baton a couple days ago. All right. Now we're now we're looking pretty good. I think my HP is full. Yep. Pick up a few bottles here. You know why not? All right. Get out of here. Go kill some shit. Game sound? Oh my god, how long has that been off? <laughs> it's been off since I played the game because I had to use the button that actually mutes it, that's why. You guys are probably listening to me mute myself constantly during that game. Gotcha, bitch. Let's go, baby. Oh shit, dude, I'm already dying. You gotta be kidding me. I already took damage. Any good loot down here? I don't know if they're trying to tempt me with this trap or what's going on here, but... I think I need the XP. Here we go. We got this. We got this. I don't know if I can block these things or, or how it works, but we're going to learn as we go. Because when I was playing this a few days ago, you don't really have to pay attention to too much with any Bethesda game unless you're on, like, survival. <laughs> Shit. All right. Okay. I'm just going to drink the water. I feel like it's probably good down here. Purified, yep, it's purified water. So let's have a sip of that. I don't know where my water levels are, but adrenaline is increasing. Um, I don't know. I don't have a pit boy yet, so I don't think I can check anything. Okay, let's pick 
pick up this. That. Perfect. Yep. Oh, yeah. Awesome. I'm, what happened here? I know exactly what the Where stim packs everyone? look like right now. Bobby pin. Take that. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's come over here. Do a quick check. Take the cigarettes. Okay. Still don't know how to get in here, man. You know, I didn't. I never figured that out. Nice. Coming back later for you. Okay, I think I just have to come back later. Once I'm a master lock picker, I'm assuming that's what you got to do. So, all right, you guys see a bobblehead anywhere around here? Just a quick double check, real fast. All right, let's head back. Mirror has stuff. You can you can loot the mirrors in this game. Really? Okay. Very nice. Awesome. I'll never pass up a good mirror opportunity again. Thanks to GM Dragon. The terminal should open this. Never pass up a moment to gaze into my own eyes. I admire that mustache. I feel like I should probably conserve ammo, but I don't know how to switch. Okay, all right, I do know how to switch. This is gonna take a little bit to get used to, that's for sure. Oh shit, dude, that's a lot of cockroaches right there. Honestly, like, I feel like I need to be, I'm like totally, totally immersed into this game right now, even with the cockroaches. That's what survival mode does to you. Sometimes I just need that in my games. Need a little motivation. I don't think I want to waste bullets, though, you know? Probably get one warm-up shot, though, because I am using mouse and keyboard now, so I gotta feel what it feels like. So let's shoot one of these bad boys. What? Oh, bullshit on that one. Alright, how do you guys think I'm doing so far? Master lockpick needed. Thought survival was an add-on to difficulty. I can't answer that question for you. I'm not sure. Not doing good. Doing okay. Okay. Grab the glasses for a bonus. Um. Okay. I don't. I don't know what that is, but I'll, I'll keep an eye out. You, know, you guys see how much quicker it is on mouse and keyboard, like checking behind you, like on controller. You guys had to watch me, do, watch me do that. It's so much quicker now. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to the the sensitivity, but uh, should be moving a little bit quicker this time around. I'm a little bit worried about eating any food that has radiation. Gotta be careful of the bugs. I'm a little bit a little bit worried about bugging out and then losing all my progress because because you can only save at beds. Alright, trusty pit boy. We're off to a good start here. Eat that meat? You sure? Don't worry about radiation. I decided not to wait for the update. Just didn't feel like waiting, to be honest with you. I'm into it right now. I'll probably be playing when the update comes out, so then we'll just switch over to the update. I don't think it'll mess up anything. All right, so we got our stats, we got our special, we got our perks. Um, adrenaline, plus 5% bonus damage per adrenaline rank. You gain ranks by killing enemies, but lose ranks while sleeping. I like that mechanic, it's pretty cool. I have a 10 millimeter pistol and a security baton. Um, we are out of time for our quest right now. Um, and then map, looking pretty good. And radio off, okay. All right, I think I get it. So let me just do a quick little check around here. Is this all that's left? 
it's like when I played the other day, like, yeah, I was motivated to loot, but at the same time, I didn't really care that much. But just simply switching to survival mode, like, I'm just, like, so much more immersed into the game right now. I don't know if I should, I don't know if I should go into that water. I'm not going to. I feel like it gave me radiation last time. Like, I remember last time I played this, I came down this hallway, and I was like, eh, I'm not going to search anything. We're good. But now I want to make sure that we got everything. So hold on, wait, did I come... Yeah, we got some, see, we got some stuff down here, yeah. Oh my god, I got a jumpsuit. And a clipboard. Holy crap. Today's gonna be a good day. Alright, so the jumpsuit, I guess we don't really need that. It's the same thing that I currently have on. I'm gonna be checking all my gear. A little bit nervous to, oh, okay, hold on. Am I back? No, I'm not back in the, in the place where I started. This is a different... Hello? Hopefully I don't Anyone? run out of time down here. Mr. Whitfield and Mrs. Whitfield. Deceased. Cause of death. Asphyxiation due to life support failure. Clearly they're running some tests on us down here. Doing the frozen test on us. Okay, all right, and then this is where we came in, okay. All right, all right, I think I'm good to get out of here. And into the open world, right? Really hope it doesn't bug out. Last time I was here, I got stuck on that little railing right there. Let's see what it does this time. Goodation is good in video games? Is that true in this game? Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Will do, Shannon. Will Please do. Stand back. Nope, the update is for PC too. I think the big deal is consoles getting 60 FPS, but it's also for PC. I think it also adds some content to the game too. And ultra wide support and a few other things. You know, playing this game has made me start thinking about the Mass Effect series again. I think I'm going to have to jump into Mass Effect 2 at some point in the near future. Played Mass Effect 1, what was that, a couple of years ago? That was my first Mass Effect experience, so I still... You know, all the sci-fi and post-apocalyptic type games, I don't have a lot of them on my resume, because I used to not really be that interested in this genre. I was always about fantasy. But now I'm coming around. So, I'm excited. I got a lot of games to play. ME2 is goaded. About to finish Mass Effect 3. Nice, little Vixie. Yeah, Fallout 4 is getting an update soon, Shy. I think in like a week or two. And there's also a mod coming out called Fallout London, which I believe was delayed because of this update. But it's adding like an entire area, London of course, to the Fallout game, to Fallout... I think it's Fallout 4, am I correct in saying that? And it's supposed to be as big as Boston is in this game, so... That's pretty hype, but I think the modders are delaying it because the update's going to screw up the mod, so. Enjoy Fallout London looks amazing. Yep, I'm on survival. A lot of you guys recommended it last stream, so I figured I'd start over and let's do it again. Roy says next Thursday the update is out. Okay, alright. Hey, Elven Princess. You think ME1 was the worst one, Gabriel? Worse than Andromeda? Oh shit, dude, I'm a little bit nervous right now. I'm a little bit nervous right now, I'm not gonna lie. One second, y'all, I just wanna make sure my, my comms are up on my side. Okay, we're good to go. Thanks for the thumbs up on the YouTube stream, everyone. Okay, well, here we go. The first thing I need to do is figure out where's like my hunger and all that stuff. Things you would never even consider looking into on any other mode. So we have special perks, special. Um, 108 HP out of 110, level 1, AP 120, 
Okay, and I do have to figure out some good perks to take. So I'm going to take my time when I level up and choosing what perks I want to level into. So I'm not going to speed run it like I did the other day. Inventory, we're looking pretty good. Map, okay. Radio. All right, I think we're good now. Off to Sanctuary. It take me a little bit to get used to switching weapons with the mouse and keyboard. I mean, it's survival mode. I don't know what to tell you guys. Oh, there's no meat coming from the crow? Come on. You call this a survival game? God, I love the ambience in this game. The music is so good. Bethesda's really good at soundtracks. They always have been. Even Starfield's soundtrack is pretty damn good. You guys agree? I don't know if it was nominated for any of the Game Awards um, music categories. I don't remember, but it was a pretty good soundtrack for sure. Who cares if Starfield wasn't nominated? Bethesda has to do better. <laughs> I'm so happy that Bobby, um, the composer, Borislav, the composer for Baldur's Gate 3, won an award at the BAFTA Awards. And the BAFTA Awards are some of the most prestigious award ceremonies out there. So happy for that guy, man. He's such a passionate composer and he cares so much about his work. He's such a nice, humble guy. Just like people like that, you love to see, you know, win awards and succeed. Dude was almost crying when he was getting the award. It was, uh, it was emotional. It was great. Okay. You gotta be careful here. I think I probably should pick up all the flora and all the... Can I pick this up? Probably gotta pick up everything because I'm assuming that I'm gonna be doing some crafting in this game. It's probably not something I can ignore. On this this game mode? Maybe you can. Maybe survival mode's not gonna be that bad. Maybe I'm just uh, overestimating its difficulty here. Okay, let's go to the... I feel like the first thing that I should do is go meet... Um, shit, what was the guy's name? I forgot his name. It started with a P. I should go meet that cowboy guy from the Minutemen faction so I can unlock Sanctuary here as a base because I do have to put down some beds somewhere. Probably as soon as possible. Encumbered run incoming. Let's see, what's my encumbrance? Oh my god, wait, no, where's my encumbrance? Inventory 95? Oh my god, isn't it 250 when you're not on survival mode? Dude, 95 is brutal. Now with that said, I think I'm going to kind of enjoy not being able to pick up everything. Because when you pick up everything, then you go into your inventory. And it looks like an episode of Hoarders, which can be really overwhelming because you don't know what you want to throw out, etc. So I guess I just have to learn the items in this game and figure out what we need to pick up. All right, I will search all these houses, but first let's go to my house, which I believe was this one. Am I correct in saying that? No, it's not this house. It was this house. Might actually have to use vats in this mode. Now I'm like questioning if I should pick up toasters and stuff for the steel. Definitely want the Nuka Cola for sure. Pork and beans, empty milk bottle. I wonder if I can fill water up with that. Let's go to my inventory. Go to aid. See what we got here. So pork and beans does give radiation. Holy crap. Um, stim pack. Do I have that favorited? I do. So we have that right there. What about Nuka Cola? Let's favorite that and put it right here. And Nuka Cola is HP. Oh, Nuka Cola is rads too. Interesting. Okay. I have a lot to learn with this game, that's for sure. A real lot. Damn, man. GM Dragon was right. I just picked up two stim packs from that um from that mirror. See if I can do this on mouse and keyboard. Yeah, it's no different. There we go. It's got to finesse it a little bit. Sweet. 
right away makes you tired and hungry i know i read that okay we're gonna take that we're gonna take the blood pack i'm gonna take pretty much it all right now free war money psycho rad x i'll just loot everything that i think is decent and then when i have to drop items we'll drop items because it did say something about when you're over encumbered it starts to injure your character or fatigue your character so got to be a little bit careful with that Okay, I want to make sure I don't miss any bobbleheads or anything. Oh, where was my house? Oh, it's this one down here. That's where it is. As I live and breathe. <laughs> I love the music. Oh, it's, it's really you. It's me, Costco. You know why I keep saying Costco? Not because of the grocery store, because of Starfield. I'm pretty sure the robot companion in Starfield was Costco. And on Zer, I agree, Easy Peach. One of the best out there, for sure. I got to level 10 before going to town. Lots and lots of building. I'm still here, you know. Oh, Vasco. My bad. <laughs> Cosworth. What happened to the world? Besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? I'm already tired right now. Going without sleep will make you tired, negatively affecting your stats. Find a bed and sleep to clear your tiredness. Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Why, the, the missus had him last, remember? Or perhaps she's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure she'll be back with him momentarily. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. <clears throat> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you? A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Try a persuasion check. Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I. I. Nice. I got XP from that. Sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing. Hey, Thomas. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car. The car. How do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... God, look at my character's triceps right now. They're just bulging I out of that suit. Hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. 
Lead the way. Round two, serve, sir. Okay, so just so I get... Oh, I did level up too, but just so I get used to this, let's go to radio. No, not radio. Inventory. I can play these while doing other things, I believe. Oopsie. I miss cassette tapes. Those were the good old days. Attacks with non-automatic, um, excuse me, non-automatic rifles do 20% more damage. You know, honestly, I feel like I might just take that right now. That's, that's right up my alley right there. Take less radiation from eating and drinking. Do you guys think lead belly is worth it in survival mode? Instantly gain plus 20% maximum health. That also sounds pretty nice, too. Cap collector, lady killer, lone wanderer. Is there a doctor in the house? Stim packs restore 40% of lost health, and Rataway removes 40% of radiation. Damn, I think I'm going to take that right now. I think that's a really good start. What do you guys think? Lead belly and more healing. Come on, come on. Yeah, what do you guys think about the medic perk? <laughs> Bye, honey. Oh, awesome, easy. I'll try to stop in for a few of those streams for sure. I'll keep an eye out. Lone wander? No. What do you guys mean no? Sounds good. No. Do core stats. Scrounger. Medic is best early on. You need to carry weight for start. Okay, where's the carry weight? Probably under strength, right? Let me take a look at that real fast out of curiosity. Let's let's close out of that. All right. What do we got? Iron Fist, channel your chi, or maybe just increasing strength in general is going to do my carry weight. Uh, swing for the fences. We're not focusing on melee. Protect yourself from the dangers of the wasteland. Hmm. There's just so many choices. I feel like there's probably so many good choices, you know? All right, so Scrounger. A couple of you guys were recommending this. You just know how to scavenge to keep the fight going and find more ammunition and containers. That's pretty good. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to scroll down right now, but I don't know how to do it on the mouse and keyboard. It's not letting me... Oh god, now I just clicked off the screen. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 how did I just do that? Oh, okay, it's just the mouse. Alright, so let's see. So I have a lot in endurance right now. And also perception. Let's go down endurance and just see what's at the bottom down here. Uh, catch some rays requires 10. Okay, so we can't do that. That requires 9. I think I have, let's see, what do I have in endurance? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have 6 in endurance, so we can go all the way down to here. Exposure to the wasteland has made you more resilient, instantly granting plus 10 radiation resistance. Aqua Boy, water is your ally. You no longer need, you no longer take radiation damage from swimming and can breathe underwater. All the rush without the hassle. You're 50% less likely to get addicted when consuming chems. That sounds like a pretty good one. Man, there's just a lot. There's a lot of good choices here. There's a real... I think I'm going to take medic right now. That's what I'm committing to. All right. We're going to be leveling up probably pretty soon. I'm going to take my time. So then I'll, I'll look back at the chat for some more recommendations. And we can also just put more points into my you know base stats, which probably is never a bad idea. So... Maybe I should focus on doing that, but whatever. At least my stim packs are a little bit more powerful. And actually, what else does it do? Rataway removes 40% of radiation. Okay, I like it. You guys don't like my choice? Well, live with it. Okay, you have no choice. It'll be fine, even if I choose like some less than optimal perks, because as a first time experience, you know, the mistakes that I make will just make the game a little bit harder for me. I'll have to overcome those challenges, which is exactly why I'm playing survival mode. Wait. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. I gotta loot this house first, brother. I already looted this one. When I press F to switch weapons, it, my character can't keep moving while I'm doing that? Kind of annoying.
Thanks, Shy. Hey, Replicator. How are you? Chem stuff is good. He's got it. I'm not too worried about it. American flag. Absolutely. We're picking that up, right? With the chopper mustache. I think it's illegal if I don't pick it up. And the mirrors have a shit ton of bobby pins, don't they? Do you guys explore... Like, when you guys are exploring a house and looking for items, do you guys do it in first person or third person? I feel like it's too crammed for third person. For, like, exploring the actual houses. You know? Can't go into the bathroom. Looking for a bobblehead right now because I know I missed one before, but. Codsworth. Sir. First person. And young Sean. They aren't here. Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are mm, as put together as I am. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here... One chat is judging my perks. The other chat, the Twitch chat, is judging my appearance. You guys see what I gotta deal with? It's just ridiculous. All right, so let's go ahead and explore all these houses. We're gonna start right here, and I don't think we're exploring that one. Let me go into this one, and then we're going to start heading towards the city of Concord, because I want to get my base established as early as possible. Ooh. What are my encumbrance levels right now? Gosh, man. I'm more than halfway already at the start of the game. That's the house I already explored, so let's go into this one. Just do a quick look. My eye will start learning what to keep an eye out for. Oh no, it was the other house that I didn't loot, so... This, this house has already been looted. Let me go back. I don't think I looted this one. We got a flip lighter, TV dinner tray. Man, I miss eating TV dinner trays. I remember when I was a kid, i go to my father's house every Tuesday night. We'd have a TV dinner and watch Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> Alright, gotta keep an eye out for comics also. You guys remember that show? It was a good show. That show and Home Improvement every once in a while, too. I just heard the wolf go off, but I don't know what it was. Did you guys notice something that popped up? Okay, we got that. Oh no, my character's already fatigued right now. I really gotta rest soon. Going without water will make you thirsty, negatively affecting your stats. Find water and drink to quench your thirst. Oh, you guys can't see, but in the bottom right of the screen, I should probably move my webcam, actually. In the bottom right of the screen, you know what? I'm going to. Give me a second. I'm going to move my webcam. We're going to move it to over here. And then I'm going to flip it. You guys can actually see, like, when I'm hungry and tired, you guys can yell at me. How does that sound? That sound like a good time to you guys? Okay. Build a bed? I don't, I don't know if I can right now. I don't think I have like a home base or anything. I missed an ammo box. Already fatigued? What are you playing as me? I don't think I can lay down a bed. I need to get access to like that workstation that I, that I discovered in that other run. Alright. Let's get out of this house. Yeah, we're good. I don't know about this ammo box, but I don't think I can find it. Everything's blending in. Everything's camouflaged right now, so move on to the next one. Um, I should probably actually drink some water if I have it. Let's start getting used to this right now. So water would be under what? Aid? And I have purified water right here, so let me click on it. Yep. And let's see if the condition went away. It did. Beautiful. Okay. And now I have a pill showing. What does that mean? 
probably not good, right? And I'm pumped up right now. I just can't wait to like take all these combat encounters nice and slow and... Yellow trench coat. <laughs> I would be real nervous if I came across somebody wearing a yellow trench coat in a post-apocalyptic world, you know? Pick that up. Ooh, we got a board game right here. I'm coming, buddy. Sean's crib. We're looking pretty good. Oh, here's the magazine. That's what that's what you guys were talking about. Great job. Alright, so let's think here. Um, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in endurance. We're gonna keep leveling up. Try to get it maxed out first. That's awesome. I definitely missed that the other day. Got some bottle caps in here. Life is good. Well, not really good, but <laughs> it's as good as it's gonna get, right? You don't think too hard about it. Life's pretty good. 210 years in the future. Wife got shot in the head. Can't find my baby. I'm not complaining. Oh, yes. Let's go, man. Okay, we got that. We got a coffee pot right here. What is that? Cap stash? Beautiful, man. We're finding all sorts of good stuff in here. I think we're about ready to head to Concord because I want to get my, my dog companion. Okay. I don't see no bobblehead anywhere. Filing cabinet. Red bandana? I mean, I'll put it on right now. Why right, we got to talk about it? Let's, let's put it on. I don't know how to like, sometimes I feel like I can turn it and look at my character while other times I can't. Okay, on to the next one, beautiful. Yeah, how do you get it so you can like turn and look at your character? I don't know. Whatever, fine. Jeez, man. Oh great, dude, I'm already gonna die. Where is this thing? Dude, I can't see it. It's in the trash can. It's in the freaking trash can. Oh my god. That's how survival mode is going to be? Freaking cockroach with a helmet on. That's freaking crazy. Just so, just so y'all know, I think I am committed to doing an entire run, so if you guys want to watch this series, I will label them all as episodes, and you'll be able to watch them all in a playlist, and it'll also be under the live tab on the channel's homepage. Probably going to focus on this game more so than um, Elden Ring and Dragon Age. For right now. Maybe we'll do Dragon Age on Sundays. Elden Ring maybe on Thursdays, this game on Tuesdays, and any any other day of the week will be this game that I decide to go live. I'll have a little bit of a focus on this game. Okay. No bobbleheads, right? Got a Nuka Cherry, Deviled Eggs, beautiful. I don't know where I can sleep right now. Any of you guys got any suggestions for going to sleep? Might have to go to Concord. In a bed? Oh, you can sleep in any bed that you find? Okay. I guess I'm just going to keep picking up things until I actually become encumbered. We're getting very close to that point right now. Oh, I thought I picked up a shotgun. Apparently I didn't.
Oh, that's the last time I try opening up a safe. Damn, man, that's a bit of a wake-up call right there. Holy crap. <sighs> I think I have to cement it into my head. I really have to think about resting in this game. I mean, but I don't want to over-rest, right? Because then you're thirsty and hungry, but... Damn it, that kind of sucks, man. I was like 40 minutes into the game. <laughs> All right, I'm going to speed loot everything here. It'd be funny if I just start going fast right now and then something else happens to my character and I get reset again. Yeah, so those of you guys that don't know what just... What's up, Ross? Those of you guys that don't know what just happened, um, in this game... You can only save by sleeping on survival mode. So I died and I went back to whatever checkpoint that they had back in the tutorial of the game. And uh, lesson learned. It is what it is. I'm not even angry. I'm kind of excited. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's... God. Uh, thank... She's... It's been... Uh-huh. Codsworth. What? I... Sean? Sure. 200 years? Uh, that... Codsworth, you're acting... I... Uh, right. Uh... Stay with... Uh... Thank you, Cod. Now, enough! Uh... Shall we... That's crazy. All right. Oh, sorry about that, Codsworth. <laughs> wow, okay, so even like... Even just searching houses, I gotta be really, really careful. Shit, didn't die in one hit. Dude, this is gonna be a crazy session. This is just gonna be a crazy session. I feel like I have to take this really, really slow. Nice. All right, Liam, thank you so much for the tier one. It's going to take all. Good enough. Wait. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. Do a quick search here. Kind of remember a little bit. Yep, we're good. Okay. Search for the Nuka Colas. Perfect, 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 perfect. Grab the meat here. I'm pretty sure I can probably cook cockroach, which will get rid of the radiation. I didn't even do cooking in my last session. Hey, where did where did he go? Still people alive. I shall remain here and secure the house. Okay, we're kind of back to where I left off before, minus all the loot that I picked up. So I got to keep a really close eye out for. I don't know if there's trip mines in this game, but if there are, I'm probably going to die to them quite a lot, especially when I look up at the chat at the wrong time. <laughs> but let's uh, let's be a little bit more careful here and a little bit more focused. Um, a quick search for loot here. We're looking good. Um, what is that right there? Yeah, I'll take a lamp. Why not? Everybody needs a good lamp once in a while. Okay, looking good. On to the next house. Perfect. Oh, is that an ammo box? Nope, that's a radio. Okay. Character's not fatigued right now. We're doing pretty good. I didn't even notice that bomb on top of the safe. That's crazy. So, I'm still able to open up that safe, right? It's just when I do it next time, I gotta back up. After I open it. Let me see if I can find... Uh, after I loot here, I should probably find a bed. 
toothbrush. Can't go wrong with that, right? I think I just picked up underwear. <laughs> Man, it's really, really easy to miss loot in this game, but I really appreciate that it's not highlighted at the same time. It makes you have to up your perception level a little bit when you're playing this game. Alright, be careful. Be careful, wolf. Be careful. Already looted this house. We're looking good here. Did I get the meat right here? I did. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, this is my house. Let me see if I'm able to rest in here. Out of curiosity. Where was my bed? Oh no, shit, I can't rest in there. You guys are saying I'm actually able to access a workbench in this area right now? Even though it's destroyed and it hasn't been established as sanctuary yet? Look for wire? Okay, alright. Disable the bomb? I wonder if that's a skill check. I've never disabled anything in this game before. Red box, I don't think I need that. Dude, this, this is fun so far. Um, you know, even though that just happened, I'm having more fun than I did on my first session. And my first session was fun too. I, uh, I really, I, I enjoyed my first session the other day and I was into it. But like at the same time, I kind of felt a little bit kind of bored because I was like, this game's not going to really be that challenging and I'm not really going to have to loot everything. I'm not really going to have to inspect enemies. And now that you guys introduced me to survival mode, I think I'm just, I'm committed right now. This is... This is what I live for. This is right up my, uh, right up my avenue. Okay, look for tripwires. Look for tripwires. Looking pretty good. Magazine in Sean's room. Oh, yeah, you're right. I missed that, didn't I? Shit. Yellow fedora. Oh, so the loot is kind of randomized in this game? I think somebody mentioned that last time. I feel like I picked up the red bandana and now I have the yellow fedora. That's great. All right, hold on. Which one's my house? This one right here. Let me see if I can get that magazine real fast. Magazine in Sean's room. Okay. There we go. Good thinking. Good thinking. And we're going to put that into endurance. And I also think I leveled up too. So let's go to T. And I think I'm going to stick with my guts and I'm going to take Matic once again. Maybe tonight I'll like spend some time reading all the perks and everything to try to plan my build out a little bit better. Um, is there a way to respec in survival mode, do you guys know? On the counter there's a journal. Oh shit, I'm probably like six houses back from, from what you're talking about, so it is what it is. How far did I reach the first time? Honestly, I pretty much ended after coming back to Sanctuary uh, with the Minutemen, and that was it, basically. Played for about four hours, and yeah, that was it, so... All right, I was just in this house. We went backwards. Let me just double check. We're looking good. Okay. Shit. Not this time, you stupid cockroach. He's even opening up fridges right now. I'm like, damn, what am I? What am I opening? Is there going to be a bomb? Okay, all right, here we go. All right, here we go. Nope, this isn't the house. It was the next house, actually. This one doesn't have a bomb on it, does it? How funny would it be if I died again and had to do this intro again? No, no respecking, you guys don't think? Uh, keyboard controls are, are pretty good so far. I mean, it's taken a little bit to get used to, but it feels pretty good. I think I'd prefer this over mouse and keyboard after messing with this for a little while, so. All right. Got a cigar right here. Let me just check one thing real fast. Hold on. We're in no rush anymore. Survival mode. There must be someone who can help you with Conte. Bingo. Aha. Kind of weird that touching this, you know, in the beginning of the game doesn't do anything, but it does now. 
Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus 5% damage. Damn, we got to keep an eye out for those. That's pretty sick. Okay, on to the bomb house right now. I am real nervy about going to Concord right now. Oh my god, dude. Yes or no? Do I try disarming this? Or is this going to be a skill check that if I fail, I die? Save first. Hey, Asm, what's up? Got it. Let's go, baby. Easy peasy. Ain't nothing stopping me on this run. All right, I'll go back to my house and see if I can... Oh, nice, a Med-X right there. What do those do? Do those... What does a Med-X do in this game? Med-X. Med-X is damage resistance, poison resistance. See, another cool thing about playing in this in this mode, too, is like... Like in... For Baldur's Gate 3, for example, like I don't use potions like pretty much ever. But on Honor Mode, I started using potions. Now that I'm in survival mode right now for this game, I'll probably be more... Be more incentivized to look into things like this and pop these before combat begins and things of that nature so sometimes you just need a little bit of an just need a little bit of a reason to do things you know what i mean so all right let me see if i can go find this workbench that you guys are talking about Let's see. This is my house right here. Okay, let's see. Workbench. Is this is this the building that it's in or is it outside? Just keep in mind, y'all. I've only even used the workbench like even one time in the, a couple times in this game. That was last last session. Across the street? Okay. All right. Oh, okay. It's at the same house that we actually set up the base. There it is right there. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Let me see if there's a, see if there's a bed in here though. Could just craft a bed, I guess. Right. That's, that's what I got to get into the habit of doing. All right. So let's go like this. Oh, that's cool. I figured this wouldn't unlock until I actually came back here with the Minutemen. So let's go to, um, shit. I probably should have looked at the, we'll use that furniture bed. Steel and cloth. 16 and... Okay, all right. So, enter. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. So, let's see. Hold on. Give this... A, should I sleep in the bathroom? How's that? Does that look pretty good? All right. Beautiful. And then we exit by pressing escape. Let's go ahead and sleep for a minute. Yeah, that feels good. All right, so here's a question for you guys. So I have, obviously my character is a little bit fatigued. You can see the little, the bed. Do you guys think I should only sleep for one hour or should I sleep for like eight hours? I feel like I should only sleep for one, like one. Because I'm going to start getting thirsty and hungry. Don't overuse stims. Okay, all right, all right. Sleep for seven hours to get a full rest. Okay, all right. All right. All right, we'll do seven.
Interesting. Crafting categories, I believe, as there was when I came here with the Minutemen last... Can you guys hear me? So the question that I asked was, how do you scrap items in this game? Like, when I have a weapon that I don't want, should I sell it? Should I drop it? Or should I, is there like a way to actually like break it down? I see a store all junk bo uh, button down here on the bottom. Yes. Well, well, I gave three, three options. So yes to what? Store all junk? Okay. All right. Done. And I'm assuming that that junk will now be used for things that I build in the future. That would make sense, right? Yep, okay. Scrap of the weapon workbench. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Gotcha. So I don't know if there's a weapon workbench around here. We have an armor workbench. Let me see. Hold on, let me just take a look at this. Might as well take it slow. We have jumpsuit. Um, oh, okay, so we have scrap. I see. So I'm going to scrap this vault 111 jumpsuit. And we get cloth out of it. Oh, that's amazing. I love it, man. I never would have done any of this if I was playing on hard mode or, or normal mode. I love it, man. This is great. Okay, modify. We don't need to do that right now. So exit table tab. Gotcha. How do I get out of here? Wrong buttons. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have the armor workbench right here. Oh, I feel so much. Oh, I need shit. to assign someone to this. I need to assign someone to this. Might as well pick up a couple melons, right? Wonder if they hydrate my character too. All right, weapons workbench. Let's see what we got here. So pipe pistol, I'm going to um scrap. Oh yeah, nice. So would you guys recommend me scrapping all the weapons that I have, or should I sell some of them for bottle caps? You know what I mean? Okay, let me see if I can modify the pistol a little bit. Maybe get it a little bit more powerful. Let's see, damage 19, 22, hardened receiver, automatic. Let's go with hardened receiver. Beautiful. Okay. And my baton, no upgrades available. Okay, we'll just stick with that. We also have short barrel standard grip. Okay, all right. Um, exit station. Enter. Go into my inventory. Hardened 10 millimeter pistol. Cool. And then I have that one for backup too. All right. So let me hold on. I got a favorite that. So let's press Q. And we're going to put that right there. And the regular 10 millimeter pistol will be right there. I think I'm getting this. I think I'm. I think I'm catching the drift here. You guys agree? All right, now I'm going to head out. Now I feel a little bit better. And, you know, the funny thing is I, I shouldn't rest again, right? <laughs> I don't want to have to go back through the uh, through the weapon scrapping again, but I think I shouldn't rest again because my character is going to get thirsty and hungry, and I don't really have much of that right now. So let's go ahead and drink a little bit of water. Perfect. We're going to put Nuka-Cola on the hot bar. And melon is 10 HP and 3 rads. Okay. Yeah, I know you can scrap things in the town. Um, but I don't want to do that at the moment. I think I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back and... When the Minutemen are here, we're going to head out on an adventure right now. Okay. 
So now I feel a little bit more comfortable looting some things. I know I don't have to start back over at the tutorial of the game. I think we're in a good position now, okay? Right, let's get out of here. In one more house, two more houses, and then we're gone. We're heading to Concord. Oh, you bastard. You gotta be shitting me. And you've taken radiation damage, reducing your max health. Visit a doctor or use Radaway to restore health lost to rads. Is there rabies in this game? Oh, look at this, man. I didn't even touch a cooking pot the other day. See ya. First, I gotta make sure. I think I gotta get in the habit of clearing out areas before I start looting. That might be one change that's gonna take me a little bit to... To adjust to, you know. Okay. Check a few things in here. We're looking pretty good. I'll take the empty bottle. I don't know if I can fill up water in those, but I'm gonna try that sometime. What is that right there? Nothing. Okay. You give the cooking pot a try for the first time. So for beverage, we don't have anything. Roast. Baked bloat fly. Soup and utility. So let's see if I can make a bloat fly sandwich. Increases radiation resistance. Okay. Alright, so hold on. Let me just check and see what see what this does when you don't actually cook it. Is it gonna heal me and give me radiation, I'm assuming? Yeah, it's a HP 5, rad 6. Okay, alright. So let's cook that bad boy up. Oh shit, I can make Nuka-Cola too. You lack the requirements to create this item. Oh, I have a Nuka-Cola. Oh, I see. It requires Nuka-Cola, mutt fruit, and whiskey to make Dirty Wastelander. So let's go to Roast, Baked Bloatfly, and Enter. Awesome, okay. Exit station. I'm going to take a look at the baked bloat fly right now. Go to aid baked bloat fly. HP 40, rad resist 20. Nice. So that's perfectly safe to, to eat now. Okay. I'm going to hold off on eating it though until I actually need a little bit of HP. Kind of curious to see how long it's going to take like HP to replenish on survival mode. They said it's drastically reduced. So I don't know. I am real nervous to use grenades in this mode. I feel like I'm going to pull the pin and I'm just going to blow up myself. Left alt is grenades. Okay, so let's go to inventory, weapons, um, grenade. We're going to favorite and we'll put it up here on nine. And I should probably practice throwing it right now. As opposed to being in combat. So let me press F. Nine. And now I have it in my hands, and then it's left alt. Okay, that's that's a little weird. Okay. Oh yeah, that's great. Yep. I'm sold, man. Yeah, let's head out to Concord. I think I actually have to first stop at the gas station up here easy storytelling thank you for 17 months of channel membership living vicariously through growing love of fallout is just the best i became infatuated with one i became infatuated with it when new vegas came out i was eight years old nice man so you have that nostalgic factor that's amazing I love it, man. I'm so happy that I'm, I'm like jumping into this series now because, oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Because I know so many people out there love it, and I'm sure we're going to get a Fallout game sometime after the Elder Scrolls 6. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. All right, let me make sure I got this down with mouse and keyboard. Hey. E is the command. Um, okay. 
We could give the dog a few items. Wait there. Stay Thanks, and follow. Okay. And then if I command and then I can point. Oh, that's the wrong button. Got Head it. over there. I love the dog in this game. I think it's such a nice mechanic. Hold position. All right, so then let's do moving out. And then we go like this. Go there. Okay, I got it down. I think for now. And then how do there. I get off? How do I get off the move out? Hold on, on controller it was B. How do I get off of the command? That I do not know. Escape? Nope. That brings me out there. Tab. There we go. Tab. Okay. Okay, we don't really have much to craft right now. Just kind of searching around for any items here. We've got a stim pack, a wrench. I gotta be a little bit more careful too because I know the companions. I'm assuming dog meat is a companion. When dog meat goes down, I think I have to use an actual stim pack to get dog meat back up. Otherwise, they return back to, I don't know, some place. Okay, before I do anything here, I'm actually going to run back up the road. I want to see if I can cook the mole meat. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Tab to cancel, thank you. Michael, what's up, man? Sorry, I know I'm missing a lot of you guys in the chat tonight, but I'm really trying to, uh... I'm trying to learn this game, you know what I mean? So it's hard. It's hard for me to, to, to get to every comment, but thank you guys for being here. Oh, I forgot to cook these too. Okay, so let me let me cook some of these. How do I cook more than one at a time? Is that possible? Just spam it. Mole rat chunks. Plus five AP for 15 minutes. And we have mutt chops, mongrel dog meat. What does that do? I don't even know if that does anything. Nice. Now I feel a little bit feel a little bit better about going out into the wasteland and you know what honestly i think i'm gonna go to my bed and sleep for one hour just to get another save point my character is hungry right now too so let's go ahead and go to aid and we're gonna eat a melon wait a melon doesn't make you let me try to eat it and see what oh it's three rads i probably shouldn't do that Not sure how much food I need to eat, so my character's not hungry, but. Still hungry right now, so let's go to aid. Grilled cockroach. You are properly fed. Okay. They give me a little visual cue. Let's come back in here and secure what we've done so far. Might start this game over again? Yeah, do it. There's a lot of Fallout hype going on right now because, obviously, because the TV show came out. It's cool to see a lot of people returning to... A lot of people returning to Fallout 4. I mean, Fallout 76 has also seen a huge uptick, but it's cool to see people returning to some of the older Fallout games. Not that this game is that old, but... It's cool that not everybody just jumped on the newest Fallout game, is what I'm trying to say. I think Fallout 4 and 76, they are both the newest ones, right? I think I'm correct in saying that, but there's a lot of people that chose Fallout 4 over 76. I'm assuming because of 76 reviews, but it's still cool. Oh, I have a cooking pot at the Red Rocket. Okay, all right. I feel like I'm playing like a zombie, zombie survival game right now with the mode that I'm in. You okay, buddy? Should probably pull out at least an axe. Okay. 
cigarette carton. Probably sell those, right? We have the Nuka Cola station back here. Beautiful. Empty milk bottle. And then this is my chemistry station. You should probably take a look at this. Plus three strength, endurance, plus 65 max health, and three perception for eight minutes. And stim packs require antiseptics, blood pack, and steel. Okay. Eat one of those. Then we're going to take caltrops. I'm going to put them right above the grenade. Might end up using those. Beautiful. And off we go. Gotta be super careful here. Oh shit. Oh shit, dude. Probably shouldn't waste ammo. I thought that was like a mini boss or something the way that it was coming at me. Dude, that would be terrifying if we had mosquitoes that looked like that. Oh my god. Yeah, that's too far. Okay, I'm getting a little bit quicker with the weapon swaps. That's good. I heard of vats. Of course. But you know Vat's percentage is going to be like at 2, trying to shoot a mosquito in the distance with that pistol. Honestly, I don't know what the Vat's button is, though, on mouse and keyboard. Does anybody know off the top of their head? Nuka-Cola Quantum? Yeah, okay, we're going to be coming up on those raiders right now, so I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, where's my... where's my dog? Shit. Dude, I'm gonna have to find some water somewhere, because my character's already thirsty again. This shit's crazy, dude. I don't have any more water left. So those guys drop blood sacks, which I need for stim packs. So I should keep that in mind. Like a quick key for the for calling your dog over. That's his Q. Okay, all right. What if there has to be an enemy around to activate it? Q. Yeah, okay. There must need to be an enemy. All right. Yeah, honestly, I have no idea where the dog is. Kind of hard to see at nighttime too. Hey, buddy. Did you guys see my dog anywhere? If I gotta do it without him, I gotta do it without him, but... Unless he went running ahead and I didn't realize it. Oh, here he is. Aw, oh, hey, buddy. Stay there. Stay there, boy. Nope, I want him to come. On me. There we go. Alright, now I feel better. I feel like he's gonna be quite useful for me. Oh shit, dude, these things are back. Didn't drop any blood that time. Alright, so I guess we're going to find out how much raiders do damage-wise.
Does anybody know if I can turn on a flashlight right now? You don't need to press F to change the weapons. Just hit the assign. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. I thought you had to hit F every single time. That is that is the best tip that I've gotten tonight. That that makes my night. Now I have to make sure. Hold on. Now I have to see what what hotkey I have these on. I thought it was really weird that I, I was pressing F, but I just figured that's what you had to do because you do it with the controller. All right. So let's put. We're gonna put the pistol, the hardened pistol, on. Um, put the hardened pistol on two. Melee on three. I like that. Okay, that's fine. And then stim pack is on zero. I don't know if I can reach zero with this microphone in front of my face. I'm going to put Nuka Cola on... Five and stim pack on four. Not that I should really be taking these in combat because it said that it doesn't do much on a really slow heal on survival. All right, so we got pistol, melee, um, stim pack. No! thought he was going to pull it out and then I would have to click a button for it to activate. Hold tab for flashlight. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Perfect. All right. All right, here we go, folks. I heard a lady's voice somewhere really close. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this. Okay, let's let's learn how to use vats with the mouse and keyboard. Um, okay, accept is E. Well, that's not a good start. Oh, oh, nice. Let's go. I think I want to get some silenced weapons in this game. That was awesome. That felt really good. Probably shouldn't be leveling up when there's combat music playing. Got a switchblade, leather right leg, and long johns. Okay. Make sure there's nobody else right around here. Somebody's hunting me right now. Ah, oh, shit. Now we got a loading screen. Uh, Dave, somebody in the chat named Dave the other day did send me a mod to make the loading screens much quicker. Maybe I'll look into that. I don't want to mess up my game, though. Fox, thank you so much for becoming a channel member. Cool. Alright, Replicator, see you in a few. Yeah, hopefully I can find a good sniper soon. Pretty excited about that. Yeah, I've definitely been in here before. Okay, we're gonna go back up. Nice, Ebony. Make the loading screens faster by tabbing out of the game, then back in. Hmm. Hey, Braz. The various weapons, especially crafting, is fun in Fallout 4. I had at least five weapons on me for different occasions. Yeah, I'm hoping to get pretty deep into those systems, Braz. On this on this difficulty, I feel like I am motivated to check out those systems more than I would be if I wasn't. Oh my god. Two just got disintegrated. That was like the, uh, 
Shit, I'm trying to think of a D and D spell. Disintegrate. <laughs> That's the spell. Hey, up here on the balcony. I've got gotcha, two brother. inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. I feel like this is going to be actually pretty hard. This might be a little wake up for the combat. I do have to level up too. So I'm going to level up right now. But let me just equip this laser gun real fast. Short laser musket. So let's put that on. We'll put that on one. And the switchblade's fine. Serpent, thank you so much for the prime. Let's give this a quick, quick try here. Okay, so you always have to press R to... Nope, not R. What was the button? Shit, what was that button that it just told me to use? R, okay. It is R, okay. And then you charge it up. And then you... Boom. Okay, alright. Um, I think I like my pistol, though. Here we go. Time to get into some gunplay. LJ, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Been watching since Hogwarts Legacy and been loving your content since. You're the reason I got into RPGs and lore. Hey, that's awesome, man. I love to hear that. Appreciate it. I don't know if anybody's ever told me before that I got them into RPGs before. That's a hell of a statement right there. It's awesome. Okay, we got to be a little bit more tactical here. I mean, who needs vats when you have 100% accuracy? Right? Am I right? Yeah, I did forget to level up. But it's too late now. Now I want to push up because... I'm afraid that I'll get shot while I'm in combat, so... Coats. Oh shit! This is bullshit. Remember, lads, two with my team. So attack. Take him out, solid snake style. Hell yeah. Shit. I'm encumbered now. Gotta drop the yellow fedora. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty brutal. That's crazy that I'm at 80 out of 95 right now. A lot of it is actually my... my food that I have here, but I don't know, like, what I should hold on to and what I should not. Just gonna drop that. Sugar bombs, drop that. Devil eggs, we're gonna drop that. That's five radiation. Drop the melons. They probably weigh quite a lot. I'm gonna 
eat that. Nice. Um, antibiotics. I gotta hang on to those in case I get any illnesses. Drop the cram. Um, we'll go ahead and eat eat some grilled rad roach right now. Try to get full HP, get into the habit of... Oh, that's pretty cool. Slows time for 10 seconds. Okay, I'm at 75 out of 125 at the moment. Short pipe rifle. You know, honestly, I think I want to put that on. Because I'm going to do rifles and pistols. Preferably sniper rifles. But let's put this one on one. Yeah. We don't need the uh, the laser pistol. Yeah, I like, I like guns like these. They're fun. Medium to long range rifles. That's how I used to play Call of Duty back in the day. That's, from, that's why I have FPS in my name. Keep in mind, I was an FPS player on controller, so don't judge me too harshly with mouse and keyboard. I don't think there's anybody left alive. Yeah, that's crazy. I really just can't pick up everything. Like, I, I could have sworn that I had 250 carrying capacity the other day. Now I'm dehydrated. Great. Nuka-Cola caffeinates you, which makes you more hungry. I'm gonna have to find a way to get some more water in this game. kind of curious. I'm going to take the Nuka-Cola because I want to see if that hydrates my character too. Okay, so now I'm caffeinated and no, it doesn't. Wow. Damn, man. Game's not playing around. Unless I have to drink two or maybe that's just, they're just trying to be more realistic. Thank you, Replicator. Please change Pip Boy color. I kind of like it. Shit. Oh, get him, boy. Get him. See ya. Oh, nice. Got a shotgun, too. I'll take it. Some brass knuckles. Some brass knuckles and some long johns. That type of day. This is fun so far. Oh, it's on. I did have five strength, you're right. Hey, good boy. Who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvin, Commonwealth Minute. God damn it. Nice to meet you, Preston. Let me guess, this guy just got done watching a few episodes of Yellowstone. Ah, uh, that ain't it. Minutemen? 
So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. Mm -hmm. So I joined up, Maybe. wanted to make a difference. And I did, but <sighs> nope, things fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last minute man left standing. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. I think I see a bobblehead on the left side of the screen. Am I correct? Did I just roll 20 for perception? I'm probably going to skip some of this dialogue just because we did it last session when I played. But I'm still not going to skip like when they're actually talking. It's a cruel world. You think I don't know that? Nah, the things man. I've seen. The things I've done. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a Not safe yet. place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Better be a good one. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Up that. Oh, uh, no, I played... All at New Vegas for like 40 hours, but other than that, yeah, this is, I'm still pretty much a Fallout beginner. Huh. Could work. It'll work, provided we can reactivate the suit. It's totally out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again, but we're a bit stuck. Do I keep losing internet connection? It's so weird. Like, I just dropped to 17 viewers. Chris, by the way, it just showed that you became a champ. There's something going on with YouTube right now. I can I can see you guys typing. Hold you on. Let's, let's all take a quick little Hello? break right here for a second. There's something going on. I keep, like, my graph of viewership also just completely tanked. Chris, thank you so much for the 20 gifted memberships, by the way. Um, hopefully those actually go through. Twitch chat, how are you guys doing? Is everything working okay over there? Maybe just refresh the, the stream? New guy. Hello? I don't know what's going on. Now it says I have 13 people watching. Whatever, we'll just keep playing because there's obviously more than 13 people in here. And Chris, thank you so much. That's a pretty big donation, so. You're looking damn good in your YouTube pick. Hello? We're up to 18 Anybody viewers now. Okay, well, let's push on for a minute or two, and then I'll, I'll look back and see if it fixes itself. I'll help if I can. What you'll need. All right, hold on one second. Let me just tell everyone. Everyone, refresh. Refresh page. And Marlboro, thank you for the tier one on Twitch. Yeah, YouTube's dying right now. Twitch is apparently still doing pretty good. Whatever. All right. YouTube's blocking my chat message. I can see your chat messages. I think we're just having we're just having some technical errors right now. It is an old pre-war FC, a standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Oh, look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. All right, brother. You got it. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Brad said right. minus five charisma on this helm. Interesting. I didn't realize that the gear actually had. Interesting. Is it, I don't see minus five charisma on this one. Is it minus five charisma? Or maybe I have to inspect it. Damage resist, weight, value, sack with hood straps. 
Or maybe Roz was just joking around. Thanks again, Chris. Luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that mini gun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. All right, let's go do that quest right now. Ah, oh, shit, I'm over encumbered right now. Um, let's drop the. You know, I could just drop the double barrel shotgun. Why not? And the pipe pistol. And that too. I can come back for them. YouTube unsubscribed you? Holy crap, what the hell's going on right now? I can see your message, GM Dragon. Does anybody know if other streams are messing up right now? Yeah, thanks for five months, Marlboro. I appreciate that. Okay, with the dog. True, true. You're right. That's it. I look like a psychopath. True. I think the stream is starting to come back right now. I think I just took the long way. It's your opinion, bros? Okay, all right. Oh, I gotta go to the roof right now. Question is, how do you get to the roof? Do I jump that or do I run? No, let's go all the way around. My character's really thirsty right now. I don't know what to do. Careful. Nice. Perception increased by one. Awesome. Taking scrounger. One in ten messages are working. Yeah, is, is this anybody else live streaming right now? Am I the only one that's having problems? It's got to be like a YouTube error or something like that. Um, let me see. I can't even see streams on my, on my phone, but I'm going to check right now. YouTube's pretty bad with showing like who's live. Oh, it's not just happening to me. Um, I just checked a, a fellow streamer, and it's showing that he only has 21 watching. He usually has like 500 to 1,000 watching, so. So this is definitely a YouTube backend error, so. At least I know it's not me. That's good. Yeah, I'm assuming that the, when you guys get unsubbed from the channel, it's probably just a visual error, but. Maybe the world is ending. I don't know. Maybe this is it. We're all gonna go out together. The eclipse, uh, the eclipse did it. Um, let me just hold, I'm sorry y'all. I, I, I don't mean to, uh, we're going through some technical problems here. I'm gonna tell everyone on YouTube. I probably won't stream for that much longer anyways. Um, we're already almost at 10 o'clock, but. You are still having problems, problems, can, problems, you can. I am live on Twitch. We'll switch to survival mode and killed YouTube. Yeah, Serpent, it kind of sucks, doesn't it? I wish they were would do better in that category. There's a lot of people that tell me that they'd like to watch the streams, but they never know when I'm live, so. Uh, with that said, I do try to stick with schedule with Tuesday and Thursday nights and Sunday afternoons. Up here. Cut! We got somebody up here. See ya. Uh, 
That's so crazy. I love the gameplay, though. Can you vats this? You can. Holy crap. No, we're not going to vats it. Show me that fancy gun up close. Not a lot of people can get past my boys. I'll give you that. How are they surviving that? That's crazy. Maybe Fallout is happening for real. I'll have it saved in a little while, Shy. So after this mission, I gotta be real careful that I don't die. Hello. <laughs> oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh my god, dude. This might be it. I might have to redo this entire part. Oh, no, 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 no. Things dodging my shots. This is crazy. Oh my god. Wow, that was intense. Holy crap, wow. Okay. Damaged and destroyed power armor peel, but I didn't get to read that. You have a mod that lets you tame a death claw replicator? That's awesome. Well, the good thing is I can actually handle the chat now. There's less people chatting, so I can actually read a lot of your guys' comments on Twitch. Good night, Fanto. Thanks for hanging out. Wasteland Whisper lets you do that. Oh, shit. There's a perk for that? Interesting. Hey, Kevin. Oh, shit! YouTube isn't getting any better, is it? I definitely got to save here soon. When your fusion core is empty, you'll be unable to use vats or power attacks and move at a reduced rate. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll stay in the suit. Why not? YouTube apocalypse is right, I guess. That was a pretty amazing display. Thanks, salty boy. I'm just glad you're on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah, for a while anyway. We can at least move some. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us: we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Mama Murphy. There's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. Grab the core and take it with you? Okay, all right. Oh, otherwise enemies can use it. Interesting. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time, out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I 
knew it. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly. But I feel his life force. He's out there. Even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. Good idea, Hugo. I'll do that. Green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. Mama so Murphy? Far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? it can oh, hold on, hold on. Worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? No, Marcy. You got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? What do you guys well, say? Rev up the engine a little bit here? Where it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did get that bobblehead. I'm looking for anything else. I don't see anything. We owe you. No doubt. Should probably go back upstairs in that room that they're in to see if there's anything there. Hey, Chief. I'll try this out until I get advertisement. True. Up forward. Glow sighted pipe pistol. If we're not going to use the pipe pistols. I did want to check that one little area while I'm here. Where was that? Somewhere over here. You lost interest in the game in 2015, Ford? Oh, look at this. I can fill this bottle with water, but it's dirty water, so I gotta be careful. Yeah, consider playing uh, survival mode for it. I'm not sure if you're into that type of gameplay, but for myself, I feel much more interested in this game with the survival conditions present. Shit. Oh, shit. I wonder if I can melee with this suit. I don't know if I can.
Really? I think it doesn't have a jetpack or something. Just picked up a fusion core. Probably overkill for some cockroaches, but still good fun. A toy alien. Yeah, YouTube doesn't seem to be getting any better. Well, if you guys can still hear me, um, I'll probably continue the Fallout series. Possibly tomorrow night at like 7 or 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, I got some video work that I gotta get started on. Depends on how much progress I make on that. But if you don't see me tomorrow night, definitely Thursday night for sure. Around 7 p.m. Eastern. That's when we'll continue this Fallout run. Okay, let's get out of here. I think I got everything I could really get here. Oh, Rataway down here. Wow, there's items everywhere in this game. It's crazy. I'm getting crafting for the power armor? Wow. Oh my god, YouTube is really messed up. I just see a double message to Baraz. Hopefully it didn't charge you twice, Chris, when you when you became a channel member. I, I, bet, I bet you it didn't, but... If it did, just, you know, reach out to me. Or if something got screwed up and it charged you more than your 20 gifted, just let me know. What's up, Romco? Having a good time. Uh, playing survival mode right now and really, uh... It's really enjoyable. Alright, so I'm gonna do exactly like Hugo recommended. We're gonna drop my power suit off at the base up here. these guys doing here fucking kidding me right now this is my gas station all right so we're gonna take the power suit i'm gonna put it right here right in the garage yeah oh yeah i like that a lot right, how do you get out of it shit i forgot oh there we go okay wait does it actually go up in that Interesting. Hold on, let me get back in this thing. And the squatters. I know, I'm so surprised, Shy, because the Skyrim survival mode is very basic. And, I mean, I enjoyed it, but it really wasn't that good of a mode. And this mode seems to be really well done. Oh, okay, so this is... Alright, so let's go ahead and get out of the suit. Where you can mod and repair your suits. Yeah, that's really cool. I didn't click on this last time. Wow. Awesome.
Can I put the minigun on the... Hold on, let me see if I can do this. Can I transfer the minigun over? It doesn't look like I can. I just have to... It's just so heavy, I'm just going to put the minigun on the ground, I guess. Hopefully nobody steals it. The big boy. I gotta figure out how to make some beverages. My character's been thirsty for like two hours in game. Take your minigun back to your base. I got it there. I think I think some people are delayed right now too. If you're hearing this right now, make sure to click the little live button. Make sure that you're caught up on the stream. You might be like 30 minutes behind. All right, so could upgrade tempered. Sure, we'll do that for now. Might as well get used to engaging with these systems, even if I'm engaging really low level gear. We also have some pit boy mods, insulated lining that requires adhesive, leather, and rubber. Sure, why not? Gotta find some better gear soon. Okay, and then we can back out. That's pretty cool. You can make a herbal stim kit. Oh, stimulant, not stim. Ash Blossom, Glowing Fungus, Gourd Blossom, Melon Blossom, and Purified Water. Refreshing Beverage. Removes all rads and cures addictions. My character's hungry, he's tired, and I also have something wrong with me too. Oh no. Damn, I need some concrete in order to make this. Um, let me see what I can scrap here. Do we have any concrete laying around anywhere? We have a tire. Oh, I hate having to hit enter, like reach my entire hand over. I don't see any concrete structures over here anywhere. Steel rail. Kind of works as like a base defense though. I don't know if I want to take down everything.
Oh shit, I didn't even notice that on the ground right there. I don't think I can pick it up while I'm in. Hold on, let me see if I can exit. Pick up the stim pack and then if you press hold V to open the workshop. Oh, very nice. That's awesome. Concrete, where are you? This is all steel. It's so cool that they have this mechanic in the game. I did not expect this to be a thing. And it's probably going to be fairly important too on survival mode. I think hitting E also works. Okay, let me try that. R E. It does. Thank you. Appreciate that. That's going to make it much easier. It's still kind of weird though hitting R and E. But all right. I don't see any concrete around here, to be honest with you. It's just kind of weird. No concrete structures, any concrete on the ground. Nope, those look like concrete blocks, kind of. I think I'm going to have to go to the place up in Sanctuary where the Minutemen are right now. Unless there's some concrete in here. What do we have here? Nope, that's not going to be it. Cash register, steel. Nice, got some copper out of that. I don't think we need that, do we? It's pretty fun getting into this mechanic. I don't need no cabinet. I'll make this place myself. I think YouTube kind of came back, actually. Yeah, it's showing. It's showing. Uh, you guys might be able to talk in the chat now. I'm not sure. Can you guys hear it now? We're having all sorts of problems tonight, aren't we? Okay, we're going to go up to... Yeah, let's just break as well I gotta go sleep before I lose all my progress I'm gonna go to the town I think this is the right way you coming boy Come here, buddy. Because we're in big trouble right now. Come on, boy. It's time to go. I'm trying to see where I have a description. You guys see the med kit showing down there? I'm trying to figure out where I can see what that actually means. I thought it would be under status. What is what is that? Okay, so hold on. This is HP. What what is that? What does that mean? That's obviously sleep, and that's water. What what is that? Does that mean I have a disease or something? You know, it's quick save. No, not not in this not in this mode. We're on survival mode, my friend. Good night, Elven Princess. Thank you very much. Okay, weakness. Take 20% damage. Hmm. Mildly dehydrated causes a minus four to intelligence, luck, and three. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go to...
Let's go take a rest real fast before I do anything because I'm going to end up losing all my progress. Thanks, Shannon, for the five. Store your stuff in things like cabinets or you might lose them. Um, I don't know if they'd allow me to transfer into the cabinet. I'll take a closer look at that. My left arm is damaged, so oh, so a stim pack would heal that, right? So let me try a stim pack real fast. I have stim packs on four. I got a lot to learn with this game, don't I? Where is this cowboy? Can't tell if there's my bed. So you know what? Let's go ahead and sleep right now. Just in case something ends up happening. I'm going to sleep for seven hours. Yeah, I'm going to destroy some of those houses here momentarily. Take out the minigun and store it in a box, not on the grounds. Okay, alright. When I go back to that place, I will. Nope, I haven't finished the Fallout show. I'm only on episode 3 right now. Uh, <clears throat> hey, good to see you again. I was hoping you'd show up. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Minutemen out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Minutemen could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturt. Sanctuary. Sturgis. I knew you'd join us here, kid. Your energy is tied to this You willing to do place. some work? I feel like my character's voice sounds like the main character in Avatar. What kind of help do you need? 
Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. I'd be glad to help. Okay. Good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Oh yeah, look at this. This is cool. It's crazy how big of a radius you have when you're doing this. I think I'm going to leave the car. Kind of a nice touch. Not that one, though. I could build up new houses here. can do individual oh yeah I forgot that you can create a fence in the workshop too go inside the houses later just trying to get some quick scrap here don't need any of that street lamp nonsense hey gold I think YouTube is working again yeah It seems to be. Did any of you guys get into the base management system in Starfield? I didn't even mess with that. Not even, not even a little bit. And if you did, how do you feel about it? Was it good? Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. I think I should be getting more materials for breaking down those houses. Nope. Don't want that. There we go. Now we're looking much better. What do you guys think? Okay, so let's go to... What did you just say to me? Do just have
like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone. Hey, Sturgis. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable Yeah, I'm going to have to um water. I'm going to have to change my key bindings for the stream because I'm using the arrow keys too much in this game, so that's why I keep muting myself. What do you mean? Like a well. They won't have to keep drinking the river water. That stuff's not good for you. Be like when I want to scroll over right here, I have to use the arrow key, and I currently have that set on mute. So, the stream, I'm not used to using these keys. Okay, so here we go. This is how I help my hydration out. And fill up a couple of the bottles that I picked up. Oh, we filled up the milk bottle. I was right. Won't let me go into my pit boy for some reason. You're tied to this place, kid. There we go. Hey, do you have a moment? What do you got for me, buddy? Just wanted to trade a few things. Oh, nice. Now we have a guy that we can sell things to here. And I have a whole... Bunch of crap here. Holy crap. I don't know exactly what to do with everything, so I'm a little bit hesitant to... S I know I can break things down at the weapon bench. A little bit hesitant to sell things until I just... I think before I start up next stream, I'll probably just sit here for like an hour and read everything and try to take it all in. I want to save the blood packs. Um, try to figure out like what ammo and what guns I want to go with. The Boston Bugle, I don't need that. Yeah, because I don't know off the top of my head, like, what what here I actually need. Fusion cells. Oh, I forgot to take out the fusion cell from my from my suit back at the at the gas station. Here you buttercup. Please, just... I, I need to be alone right now. All right, we're going to... Let's see, hold on. How much do I have? Let's see. 74 out of 95. Yeah, I got to find a way to store things in this game. <clears throat> like a container or something. Or can maybe I can build a chest. Here, power decorations probably wouldn't be under structure.
What do you guys think? Guys, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna keep muting while I'm messing with these things, so just bear with me as I uh when I finish building I'll make sure that things aren't muted, etc. But like I said, I'm using my arrow keys and I have to go into my back settings for my Streamlabs OBS to disable that or figure out a better mute button. Alright, but we're gonna go and let me see. I'm not really fatigued right now. I still am still am thirsty though. I wonder how I just like I just drink out of the water pump. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. I can just walk up to the water pump and drink out of it. That's great. Beautiful. Okay. That works out pretty good. Use controller? Nah. I, I, I used controller last session. I think this game is better with mouse and keyboard. All right. And there's no doctor in this town, I don't think, right? Mama Murphy's not a doctor, I don't think. Game keeps glitching out. There we go. Ma'am. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. Mod sim settlements. Cool. I'm not gonna be looking into mods on this first run, but in the future I'll definitely keep that in mind. I used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that ice box. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The sight can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. What's jet? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster, but at my age, it's more of a quick rush. The chems fuel the site, so it's not always going to be jet I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. Here. Already have some. Like a little kick yourself, huh? This'll do. Now, let me ride the high to where the site wants to take me. Diamond City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know. But people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's gonna lead you to your boy. Oh, it's... It's bright. So bright against the dark alleys it walks. That's... That's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs to the... Oh, great, we got Withers 2.0. Wow. That took more out of me. You can actually kill Mama Murphy? I'm That's pretty funny. That's awesome. Now, kid. Travel mode looks a bit stressful. I think I like it so far. There's a few things that I have to learn. I don't know what I'm doing for, but take my time. We're gonna sell some of this, but or the wedding ring. I want to go out on a mission right now, so I'm gonna hold off on selling things and just store a bunch of things in here. Do, 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 do. All the things that I plan on selling. Put the death claw meat in here too. Probably hang on to one of those. We're gonna sell those. Okay. Wrench. They're looking pretty good now. Um hope that's power armor that I'm carrying on me. No wonder why it's so heavy. I don't know if I can actually store that. I might have to store that. Nope. There we go. Okay, nice. All right. 42. 
weapons. We got my pistol, my security baton, and frag grenades. Looking pretty good. <laughs> got plenty of aid here. Way too much aid. I don't even know what to do with most of it, but... Bobby pins, junk, shot glass. Could probably put that away. In ammo, I have 159 shots of 10 millimeter. I don't need the 38. I don't need the 5. And I don't need the shotgun shells. So hold on. Let's do the 38. Get rid of the 5 millimeter. I'm going to come get rid of these. Get rid of the hard honey. Okay. Looking pretty good now. I don't know how to get rid of the uh, the med kit symbol on the bottom right of my screen. Don't know what that requires. It's just weakness. I don't know if that's because I'm tired. Does anybody know like what I can specifically take to get rid of that before I head out on this quest? Now let's go to data. Let's see. Go to Diamond City. So we're going to hold off on that. I'm going to take my time, obviously. Talk to the settlers at Ten Pines Bluff. That's what we're going to do. Let me talk to Sturgis one more time, though. Antibiotics does that? Okay. Okay. You are thirsty from lack of water. How crazy is that? How crazy is it that you take certain medications and it makes your character thirsty or hungry? Oh, crap. I think I just ate uncooked meat. I also leveled up, too. All right, so let's go ahead and drink some water here. I need to find some water bottles. Start bringing those with me. I wonder if you can overhydrate. Feel bloated. Yeah, because I'm like not I'm not going out with any. Let me see if this guy hold on. Let's see if this guy sells any Don't take bottles. To Marcy. She's working through the loss in her own way. Just looking to trade a little. Let's see what this guy sells. Not really too much here. Just the things that I sold to him. Okay. Some days are harder than others. So I gotta get the water situation the hard days, figured out sometime soon. Water. Gotta start bringing water with me when I go places. There's no fast travel in this game, so we have to run it into all these locations. I'm going all the way to Ten Pines Bluff, which isn't really that far, but I feel like it kind of is in survival mode. Add more pumps. What do I need more pumps for right now? Got a favor to Mama Murphy wants something right now. Can we trade a few things? What? Okay, off we go. We're just gonna have to learn to survive in the wilds. Oh, I just gave all those items to Jin. Okay, well, that's okay. We'll come back and get them. Yeah, milk bottles were working. I tried that earlier and I was able to fill up the water, but then I drank the water and I don't think I have the bottles anymore, so I don't we're just gonna have to keep an eye out for stuff like that. So loot everything, I guess, right? Cancel your bottles in your workshop.
Damn, there's a lot of shit in here. Didn't realize that. I wonder if these bottles right here can be used to fill up water. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to take the... beer bottles too. Game's pretty hardcore. Every empty bottle can be used. Okay, cool. Another must have mod is to let you have one humanoid companion and dog meat at the same time. Kind of like Skyrim Replicator. Except you can't have a dog in Skyrim. I'm sure they have a mod for that though, too, right? I'm really enjoying this so far. I mean, obviously, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm having a good time. I think I'm starting to grasp onto it, how the survival mode works. Yeah. Okay, let's head out. Top of the cooking pot, maybe cook up that bloat fly gland. We're going to go do a combat mission, and that'll probably be it for tonight. Actually, I have nothing to cook here. Gotta get some better armor ASAP. Probably should have put on like some of the Raiders gear back in Conquered. Drifter outfit. Okay, here we go. Out into the big open world. Pretty much all food that you pick up has radiation, which would make sense, but have to cook everything. Oh, I actually might need to kill this deer. Running low on meat. Wrong button. <laughs> I like the third person combat in this game too. Nice to have first and third. Okay, now if we take a look at my inventory, let me just see what I have for... Really don't have much food here, so before, uh, before I go out, I'm actually going to farm some animals real fast. It's fun. I feel so immersed into the world right now. Like, there's not a shot in hell I would have ever gone out to farm some food before doing a mission on the game's regular mode.
Cap stash, nice. Some money right there. Some cigarettes, empty milk bottle. Pork and beans, can't go wrong with that. Yeah, that was a nice little stash right there. See if we can kill one more. Actually, I might have enough meat now. See if there's any more rats or any more deer around. I wish you could have a bow in this game. Is there a crossbow by any chance? I would love that. I would love to put the guns away and grab a crossbow or a bow. Check, check, check. I'm not muted right now, am I? Drive mode is the right way to play Fallout. I think I agree with you, Ricardo. I'm so happy that a few people in chat were really trying to tell me to, to play it last time. I just figured it was going to be like Skyrim survival and not really be that survival, but I was ass my assumption was wrong. This is awesome. I think I love the survival genre for video games, and of course I love RPGs. When you combine them together, it's literally the biggest, most lipsticky chef's kiss in the world. I like almost want to go back to town and rest, or I could I could rest for one hour here actually. You know what, maybe we'll do that. Hold on, did I get everything? Might be a mod for the crossbow. Then you'll get combat armor. Your vault suits are the only upgradable armor. Other suits look cool or might have perks. However, stealth upgrade or energy resistance is advantageous. Let's um let's build a bed really fast here. Don't have to go to the workshop, just hold down V. Now I'm probably gonna mute myself and the game here for a second. Can't remember if I placed a bed in here or not. I think the game's muted right now, but that's okay. Place the bed right here. Okay, we'll get out of that. Unmute the game. We're going to take a one hour rest. Because that's how you save in survival mode. All right, and now we're going to head back out. Feel really good. Feel really good about myself. And it's actually really nice not hoarding, like, in my inventory, picking up, like, when I was playing a couple days ago, I had, like, 7,000 weapons in my inventory, 2 million ammo, <laughs> or various ammo types. And now I'm just keeping it simple. Simple and light. Me and my dog. Crossfall camping. Okay, we'll do replicator. Yeah. Before I install it, I'll reach out to you next time. Because I do plan on playing Fallout again, or uh, Skyrim again at some point, too. Payback time, boogie Shit. Man. Shit. Oh my god, just shot off her head. <laughs> this is freaking crazy, man. I'm wondering if I should put on... Hold on, let's take a look here. Eight, six, or four, two. Yes, we want eight, six. I'm just going to drop that. 
gunner's green bandana i gotta keep him i gotta remember remind myself that i can store things on dog meat too all right and you know what i really really like that i can't actually i like that the bodies are not lit up i have to actually search i don't know where i killed all of them zoom out a little bit here I think there was one more raider that I didn't loot yet. It's more than I killed four. Got a 45 round. I mean, I have no use for that at the moment. So I probably shouldn't even pick that up. Okay, and off we go. Every mission feels like a journey. All right, Dragon Pink, have a good night. Thanks for stopping in. It was good to see you. I agree, Replicator, 100%. You guys know what ability stealth is associated with in this game is it perception or is it agility if i want to get some stealth perks oh my god i didn't realize you could get headshots on these creatures Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm a Fallout fan now. You guys have me fully invested. Love this franchise. Can't wait to play the other ones. I was thinking about starting up Fallout 76 sometime. Maybe even this weekend. Just to play one session. I obviously don't want to play two Fallout games at the same time. I should only play one. But I was kind of curious as to how Fallout 76 feels. And how it looks also. So you guys might see me start up a Fallout 76 stream sometime in the near future, but don't worry, I'm not giving up on Fallout 4. I'm just uh, just checking out Fallout 76. That's it. And then we'll come back to it in the future. Shit. You know what? Where did my rifle go? I think I got rid of that. Damn, I wish I still had my rifle. Bro, where are you shooting from? See ya. Oh! Why did I say my HP was low? I have full HP. Maybe I didn't fully read that message. Oh, shit. Try again, bucko. Come on. Come on. Agility is where stealth is? Alright, well, I guess I can't fool around like that in this game. Well, shit. Okay. Well, back out we go. Attempt number two. Good thing I saved. I got... Hey, what's up, Wyvern? Yeah, I got pwned, man. Any of you guys in this chat watch Pure Pwnage? Does anybody know what Pure Pwnage is in this chat? If you do, then it means we came from the same era of gaming. Does anybody know FPS Dave Pure Pwnage? I, I don't I don't I'm fine Shannon no worries I'm good with my pistol right now you get a quick quick dog meat yeah, yeah, yeah I know that you can get into his inventory I'll do that at some point oh shit I just ran right into this freaking fight I wasn't even I was looking at the freaking chat man great great 
Shit, get the high ground. Get the high ground, wolf. Oh yeah, these guys are fucked. Oh yeah, they're never gonna hit me up here. Wolf hard FPS. Dude doesn't miss a shot. Your head has been crippled. Guess you can't head glitch in this game. They punish you for it. just like the punishment for death it's so severe that like every cabin encounter you kind of got to take seriously you know I wish dog meat could sniff out bodies to make it easier to find. I guess that did that save before? I don't know how that works. Probably gonna have to put water on one of my one of my hotkeys. I am gonna do that actually. Let's take purified water. Do 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 and we're gonna put that on hotkey zero. Oh, there's no animation for drinking water? There we go. Now we're looking better. What about Sean? Well, Sean is apparently in Diamond City right now, so... We're going to be heading there, but not today. Probably not next session either, because I think I want to take my time exploring. Okay, let's not die this time. Let's do it right this time. What do you guys say to that? Me, my pistol, and my baton, and my dog. This would be kind of a fun PvP game. I feel like I'm playing like Days Gone or something like that. Okay, let me see if I can actually sneak up. I'm not sure. Does the dog sneak with you? I think the dog does. Okay. Gonna sneak up this time, try to be stealthy. 2,700 hours in BG3, foam? That's awesome. I don't think survival is a good idea for a first playthrough. I think I'll be fine. When I hit walls, it motivates me to, 
to learn things more, play more, grind more. I like stuff like that. It doesn't bother me. I don't get frustrated with games like some people do. Damn, I don't have, um, shit. I need, like, a, an assassination knife or something like that. I don't know what this will even do. Oh, we can pickpocket? Oh, my God. 37% chance to steal. <laughs> oh my god, I kind of feel bad. Honestly, I didn't mean to decapitate her with a baton. Shit, I'm still pressing the wrong buttons. Oh my god. Hey. Oh, I can't scrap any of what I just picked up. Yeah, look at my little butt cheeks. Uh oh, what happened to my... My first Bethesda game? No. No, I love the Elder Scrolls games. I'm gonna clear out the top of the camp before I go down. Yeah, I know it's R for scrap, I just didn't have anything to scrap. Those items that I just picked up didn't show up on the armor workbench. Look at that cake. Fallout balls out mode? Mod? Is that where you run around naked? Probably would be demonetized pretty fast with that mod. I can't wait to get silencers and sniper rifles. I think that's how I'm going to play this. I think it fits really well with the survival difficulty mode. Did I tell my dog to stay? Nope, here comes the dog. That was dog meat until it bit me. Shit, now I'm hearing ghosts. Got some canned dog food. I wonder if I can give that to a buddy. Oh my god. Okay, let's go down. Pretty pathetic jump scare, wasn't it? 
It was a freaking dog. That's why I don't play horror games. The only time I'll ever play a horror game is on Halloween night for you guys. That's it. Other than that, it's not worth the humiliation. Yeah, that's awesome, Lazen. Ah! Note to self, don't look over at the chat while walking into an unknown dungeon. You guys agree? Okay, buddy. We're getting real close to some jabronis up here. This shit is no joke. This is this is actually crazy. Like one F up. I did panic a little bit there to the to be fair, so hitting me. And oh my god. Oh no. No. I'm going in Rambo style after this. Absolutely. Yeah, I know it's not good. I'm not even looking over at the chat. You guys are probably being mean. Damn, dude, I gotta be super, like, methodical with navigating those dungeons, because it's just like... One dog in my face and I'm a goner if I don't kill it fast enough. You know? Alright, well, let's do it again. I'm definitely gonna... I'm definitely completing this quest before I get off tonight. Thought I would have been done like 30 minutes ago. But apparently not, so let's do it again. I still gotta get out of the habit of just playing this game like I would play like most other RPGs. Like without a care in the world. Like I haven't played a game like this in a while. Okay, you guys ready for this? Watch this. Watch this. Need my sniper rifle. figure out how to how to activate the command to get him to go somewhere hey oh there we go okay shit over there Going into FPS mode now. Not playing games anymore. Sending the dog out as bait. That's how we're going to do it. He's fine. He's fine. Oh, shit! I just heard somebody right next to me. Who just said, huh? When in doubt, press VATS. Nothing.
Dude, who just said that? You guys not hear that? So satisfying to kill him the third person. So satisfying. Okay. All right. On to the next mission. I got it this time. Trust me. That on the floor? <clears throat> it's not like I'm really getting that much far into the content right now. It's not like I'm setting back that far. Try a melee build. Yeah, I might have to start using vats a little bit more. Like when I panic. At least while I'm trying to, you know, get used to the muscle memory of the controls in this game. Just press vats when I don't know what's going on. Oh, these guys are fighting. Teleport short distances with melee weapons and vats, really? Oh, shit. Did I just get caught? No, I think they're fighting each other. Nope, they're fighting me. Oh, they're fighting a bloat fly. Two ball, what is that? Didn't pick it up. What the hell is that? That's not good. That's not good. I didn't think it would fight back. Oh, my bad, folks. I don't mean to yell. I know it's late at night. Okay, I'm okay, though. I'm okay. Check our inventory here. I thought I was going to die again and reset. Can I eat some canned dog food? All right, give it. Wow, that is so slow. I don't know if you guys can see because my webcam is over the health bar, but healing in combat is not really a thing in survival mode. Level up? Okay, sure, we'll level up right now. Maxed out endurance now. Well, let's go, baby. Okay, let's give it a shot again. Man. Works for faster self-healing.
I don't think I gotta sleep in a bed. I think we're gonna push on here. I want the pressure of completing this mission. I got this. It's gotta be slow and methodical. Is that is that gonna go off or is it the tripwire that shit? Okay, I think it's a tripwire that sets it off. We'll do that anyways. Okay, here we go. What the? Shit. Get into position. There we go. Now I'm getting now I'm getting the hang of it. Now I'm getting the hang of it. Terminal's got this locked. Did I not pull the pin? Shit! Shit! I gotta practice throwing those grenades. I don't know what I'm doing with those. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. Hang in there with me, buddy. Somebody's got a minigun down here. And I'm not fixing to walk in front of it. You guys know what I'm saying. Now is probably not the time to unlock lock boxes, but I can't help myself. It adds to the intensity, right? Nice. Yeah, I gotta hold it longer to pull the pin out. I didn't realize you had to do that. Ooh, got myself a rifle. Let's go. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna equip that bad boy. I'm gonna put that, even though it kind of sucks, I'm gonna still put it on over my shotgun. We're going to pull it out.
This is like so much more intense than not playing survival mode. I think it's probably more enjoyable for you guys too, as long as I don't have to keep repeating missions. Would you guys say watching survival mode is more enjoyable than watching me play on like normal or hard? I'm trying to think from like a viewer perspective. I feel like I'd much rather watch a, watch someone play on a mode like this where there's a lot of risk. A little bit more intense. Oh god, this is this is getting this is getting downright diggity. You're scared shitless. <laughs> you guys are more scared than I am. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely a mini gunner down here, and I'm very, very worried about it. Do I still have their grenades? I do, so I don't think I even threw one. Let me just, let me practice. Hold on. What if it blows up in my hands? <laughs> oh my god, that would be pathetic. Oh! Nothing. Do I have any Keltrops? Where's the mini gunner, dude? That's who I gotta find. Mini gunner's coming. Oh, shit! That's not good. No, I'm not in a good spot. I'm not in a good spot. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I'm still okay. I'm still alive. I'm still oh no. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. I'll rest in the bed before I go down into the dungeon this time. Dude, I thought I had that down. Yeah, for sure. King Stupid. I agree. Absolutely. I'm with you on that. Makes you much more engaged in the moment to moment gameplay when otherwise. You don't really have to care about that stuff. All right, attempt number three. Wait, or maybe four. I'm one of the early on quests in survival mode, and I'm getting my ass kicked. It's a great learning opportunity, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll rest in the bed for sure. Okay, so that stayed open. Over there. That didn't work. Shit. Oh my god, dude. This is actually crazy. Look how slow the stim pack is in this mode. moving up right now as I'm doing this. See one right there. Oh, it's my dog. I have no idea. Dude, I feel like I'm playing paintball when I was 14 years old. I have no idea where the shot's coming from.
There we go. There we go. Who's the king of the hill now? That was way too intense for that encounter. My plan failed me. You know why? Because I don't have a good long range weapon, so I would have needed like a sniper, something like that. Send my dog ahead and just start head headshotting these jabronis. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you can actually use a bed if it's not at a settlement. Well, we're going to try when we get up here. Got that dog's head off. That sucks. No idea where these bodies are. Whatever. Let's push on. See, now I'm getting a little antsy and I want to like rush over there and just start killing things, but I got to calm myself down. Get back into the zone. Stealth sniper in survival? Nice. I might start getting into that soon. You can sleep in most beds? Okay. Oh, it just does less. Okay. All right. As long as it saves though, right? Swimming in water gives free diseases. Okay. I'll make sure to swim in the water. Sounds lovely. Oh my god, that blowfly just got destroyed. That was a, was that a suicide mole right there? That was a suicide mole. You gotta be shitting me. That was great. That was awesome. Yeah, I keep forgetting that my flashlight's on. That's not why I died, though. I died because it was a suicide mole that ran up. A mole that had, uh... Had a bomb on its back. Okay, here we go. Watch this, y'all. I'm not playing around this time. You guys are about to take notes. Get your notepads out. Watch this. Watch and learn. Sometimes you just gotta be cool, calm, and collected, folks. Cool, calm, and collected. You guys see that? Didn't miss a single shot. 100% accuracy. Easy stuff. Are you guys taking notes or what? Because if you weren't, you missed your opportunity. Oh, shit. <gasps> Didn't see that one.
I got you, buddy. Wow. There's a bed right there. All right, so let me go ahead and... We'll take a quick one-hour nap, I guess. Yeah. Then we never have to do this fight ever again. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta get some better some better armor, but I mean I have a tempered raider chest piece right now. Gotta find something to replace that. Put on the military cap. One, two, let's go with that. It is what it is. Damn, I lost all of my all of my health from that. That's unfortunate. What's up, Justin? I'm wearing a better helmet right now. Shit, dude. I was already spotted. He's not even back up yet. Dude, these moles weren't here the first time that I came. This shit's crazy. God. Oh, the dog is a real asset, that's for sure. I'm addicted to this game. Oh yeah, I gotta equip the individual armor pieces. You guys are right. Okay, alright. Not used to doing that in games.
Sorry about that. All right, so let's see what we got here. So, all right, so I need to equip. Oh, okay, I see how this game works. Left leg, right leg, left arm. Hopefully there's no more suicide moles up here. That robot never came back this time. It's interesting. I don't know how the world works with the creatures and stuff, but that robot that was trying to hire people, I didn't see it when I played the other day, and I didn't see it today either, except that one time. That's it. We'll go to bed right now, but I think... Yeah, we'll take a one-hour nap. Why not? Then if I die, we can just spawn right back outside here. Yeah, so Fallout London, I believe, was also delayed, so make sure you guys keep that in mind. I think because of the Fallout update, Fallout London DLC is now our DLC mod. I could have sworn I saw some, an article on it today that was saying that it was delayed because of the update going to mess it up. Might not work, but I'm going to give it a try. What? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Position. Heads up. 
God, God, man. Messing with the dog. Not a good time to mess with the dog. Shit. Gotta get that stealth skill up. We gotta finish this quest, Chris. I'm committed to this one quest, and after this, then I'm definitely done. My god, the loading screen. Holy crap. I don't know if these guys will come through the door. Just in case, let me come out here. I'll probably get attacked by a mole. I'm just getting started. The hell? Dude, there's three of them. Gotta reload sometime. See ya. getting left arm. I'm not getting anything for the right arm. Okay, so the, the vault jumpsuit gives me 10. And the raider, the raider leather isn't much better, but I guess I'll take the damage resist for now. Well, that was pretty crazy. We'll go to sleep for another hour. That was a lot of fun, though. That shit was intense. You don't get moments like that when you're not playing on this, this type of difficulty. There's nothing to fear. That was awesome. All right, let's see if I can eat a little bit of food before we go back down. Do, 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 do. A, do I have any cooked food here? Canned dog food, baked bloat I think that helps. Yep. All right. Now we got to go get my dog, who's probably knocked down below on the lower level. Hey, Jackie. Still going. Where is my dog? Was my dog up top, honestly? I don't want to go through that loading screen again. I think my dog came through with me, maybe. My dog must be outside right now. Got a new perk too.
Eating human corpses restores health. Cannibal. Oh my god, do you guys think I should do that? I think I should. Oh, the dog's... Okay, the dog's back at my base now. Okay. Back at the right rocket. You guys think Cannibal's a fun perk or a good one? No. Yes? I wonder if eating the corpses gives me radiation. I need to figure that out before I take that perk. If I don't get radiation from it, that would be super good, but... Radiation now regenerates your lost health. Gain a plus two to strength and endurance between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. I'm solar powered. I want to put a point into... Put a point into agility. Need to eat more brains. Cannibalism sounds pretty cool. What's up, Joker? Anything to survive? True. Alright, let's focus here because I gotta get through this place. I think the machine gunner might still be down here. Not entirely sure. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh my freaking god, dude. That is actually insane. Holy crap. I'm gonna have to stealth sniper. Wow. That is incredible damage. Hey, Wall, what's up? Currently we're going through your old Elden Ring VODs. Oh, damn, they are old as shit. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look into that. It was so long ago before I even did anything with my live streaming that I never had a playlist for it. I did start up a new Elden Ring run. I'll probably do a full run of the game before the expansion comes out, so... Hey, Keith. Got turned into mist. True. Keith, you ever played the uh are you into the Fallout games? I can't remember. You said that you were or not. Having a great time right now. This survival mode difficulty is a lot of fun. It's really intense. Probably heal up before we go down here. But like I feel like I'm just I am fully immersed in this game right now. Let's eat a baked bloat fly. There we go. And actually, I think I'm also going to take something. Let's see. I'm going to take. We'll take buff out. No, what does buff out do? No. Um, I'm looking for some buffs for my character right now. Make me a little bit. Probably kill the machine gunner with a grenade. I just don't know how to throw the grenades. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Your son plays them? Fallout 1 and 2, I believe 1 and 2 were both CRPGs. Am I correct when I say that? HP is so slow. So slow to recover. I'm also going to eat a... Let's eat... You know what? Why not? Dehydrated, okay. No problem. Drink some water. Oh, I got to level up again, too. Mole rat chunks. 
pork and beans gives me you know i'm just gonna take it whatever i'll take a little bit of rads and then it looks like i need some more water i think i have that on a quick slot i don't know if that's on five or not well, let's have some more water damn i had to drink three water bottles because I was so dehydrated. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> Pop all the random pills. Might as well, right? The apocalypse. Alright, if I can get, like, the drop on the machine gunner, I think I'm fine. I don't have any grenades left. God, it's just tough, because... Man... Just tough. Yeah, they're both chilling back there. If I could throw a grenade down that hallway, it would be epic. God, I pray she doesn't come out right now and see me. They're right into that hallway to the left. Man, if I had Keltrops, that would be such a help, too. All those weapons I had earlier. I got nothing but my pistol, my pipe pistol, my baton, and my short barrel shotgun. Which I don't even have equipped, so let's go ahead and set that to... The only thing I'm worried about with the short barrel shotgun is on this mode if i don't get that kill i'm not sure if it's an instant headshot one shot kill against these opponents or what and if i'm close to the opponent and i don't get that one shot kill i'm getting shredded so all right here we go you guys ready for this oh what is this can i get nope i can't get it's time to kick some ass it's absolutely time shit oh shit that's not good Oh, f oh shit, dude. I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. What do you think? Shut up. Yeah, you're probably right. Gotta cut down on the jet, I guess. I don't think I can go through. All headshots, baby. All headshots. I got this. Watch this. Gotcha. Game over. Not, not scared of nothing now. Dude, I love this game, man. It's so cool to have vats and have the skill checks. Watch, I'm gonna get killed by this character. Dude, what? What? Oh, oh my god! Come on, get that barrel hot, baby. Get that barrel hot. Dude, I forgot the enemies are smart in this game. Oh my god. Shit, man. I'm done messing with these raiders. This stuff is just crazy. This game is crazy. I'm telling you, like, this survival mode is like... I needed it. I, I really needed it. 2-5... Like, I was having a good time, and I was going to play the entire game, but, like, this is what I needed. I can't wait for the next session. I can't wait. Definitely got to get some better armor, though. I don't think there's any anybody left down here, actually, to be honest with you. Can't go into first person. 
thought that was about to blow up. <laughs> I've died too many times today from bombs. I'm scared of everything. What's up, RG? Lily, hello. How's New Zealand treating you? Wait till you start adding mods on top of survival mode. It's pretty crazy. Alright, I don't think there's any more raiders down here, so I'm just going to switch back to my, my regular weapons. Because that thing is slow and big. Got a sensor module. You never know when you need that, right? Welded Raider chest piece. I have a feeling that that's going to be better than what I'm wearing right now. Six and four. Looks pretty cool. That's it. New Zealand's lovely. Mild autumn weather. Really hope it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, why can't I kill these things? What did I just face off against? Oh my god. I knew that was going to happen. That's why I backed up. Yeah, it's time to start using vats a little bit more. We're freaking cockroach, dude. The hardest cockroach I've ever fought in the history of video games right there. Yeah, I think we're good now. I think I, I did it. Sweet. I know, what the hell? Like, that was crazy when I pulled out the minigun and they still wouldn't go down. I knew I was in for it. When I did that, something wasn't right, right? Shit. Dude, they are so strong. That is actually insane. Hope they never do away with the VAT system. Is VATs in Fallout 76? It better be. Staple of the Fallout series, right? Can I pick up the... Alright. So many items in this game, I just... Trying not to miss things, even though I know I am.
Quick double check. We're looking good. My God. I'm really liking combat in the third person too. Terminal set is locked. I gotta rest immediately when I go outside. Holy crap. No way. Yes, let's go. Yep, now we're talking. If I can get a little ACOG on that. Yep. I like that a lot. We're going to start recognizing with the Nuka-Cola bottles. Mini Nuke? Wait, what the hell is that? Is that something... Is that valuable? What the hell is a mini nuke? <laughs> Whatever it is, I don't think I want to carry it on me. Oh my god, it's like RPG ammo or something. Value 100. I mean, it's worth quite a lot, but it's just like I'm over encumbered right now, so. What do I have room for? Could drop that, could drop that, drop that. Could get rid of the jumpsuit finally. That 123. Mini nuke is good. Okay, all right, I'll hang on to it then. We'll make some we'll make some room here. I might have to put a couple points into strength because this is crazy how encumbered I am in this game. All right, mini nuke staying with me. Yep. Looking good. Okay, discharge. We'll take that. I don't think I need more shotgun shells. It is what it is, a mini nuke. Damn, that's crazy. Got it. Mini nuke is ammo for the mini nuke launcher. Okay. Okay. have a lot of junk on me that's why I need a sleep I need antibiotics I've got diseases okay there we go all right let's get out of here keep in mind there's no fast travel in the traditional sense in this mode. I gotta walk all the way back to the gas station. Pretty close though. Yeah, it's kinda like kinda like Skyrim, Keith. I mean obviously they're both Bethesda, so similar in that way for sure. When you first start out in a like when you first start out in this game, you don't know what to pick up and what not to pick up. But the problem with survival mode is that your encumbrance is drastically reduced, so. I can't carry nearly as much as I could before, and I, actually, maybe I can carry just as much as I can before, but in this mode, things like ammo actually have weight to them. While in every other mode in Fallout, there's no weight to the ammo. You can just carry as much as you want. Oh, I like this rifle a lot. Hopefully I can hang on to it for a little while. All right, there is a bed right here, so I think I will just go to bed for one hour really quickly. Just to save the game. There we go. The only way you can save. And we're going to head. I don't want to pick up anything else. That was a hell of a that was a hell of a journey. I've been doing this like one little mission area for like 2 hours, but I don't regret a single I don't regret a single minute of it. I'm happy that I died like 4 times, maybe 5. Um, I never even went and talked to the settlers. Oh my god. All right, hold on. We got to finish this mission. They're this way. I do have to go to bed, though. Damn, I'm wondering, is it smarter to go back 
I think it's smarter. It's smarter to go back to the gas station. Get a proper night's sleep. Yeah, it's smarter. Let's do that. Is it to the west? Oh, we're going to try out this rifle for sure. Yep. Do vats with it. My god. Sneak attack 2x damage. I gotta start doing that more often. Damn. Okay. Well, I feel bad. I gotta take the meat now, even if I... There we go. I feel better now. Okay. How many of you guys in this chat have played Fallout for over 1,000 hours? Oh, did I miss another magazine, Shannon? I'm not used to looking out for those. Wasting ammo already. Me easily. Survival mode, I keep forgetting about Twitch chat. My bad. Hey, Bug, what's up? Survival mode makes ammo have weight. Yes, it does. I like how you can actually see the red rocket from pretty far away. What's your favorite Fallout Dungeon Master since you played them all? 1475 out of JT Goose. Oh, do they have survival mode in New Vegas too, Michael? That's awesome. I wish I played in survival on my first run then. New Vegas is the only Fallout game that I've played, and I have like 40 hours into it. I didn't even beat it. All right, um, what was I going to do? I was going to rest, get a proper night's sleep. Fifteen hundred hours and one, two, three, and four together, Max. It's pretty respectable. Near one thousand. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about Fallout Three. Some people like Fallout Three more than Fallout Four. What is? Okay, fortify carry weight food. Damn, I'm running low on water, too. Hopefully, though, hopefully I still have those. I think I have to go back to the camp. Um, do I have a container here? Can store some things. Edotronic? What the hell is that? Hey, buddy. How are you? Aw, oh, damn, man, my... Now I'm, like, extremely over-encumbered. My shit wore off. Yeah, I think I gotta put some points into strength. I might just do that right now, actually. I have one point. Affects how much you can carry in the damage of all melee attacks. So, Iron Fist. Melee, we don't need that. 20% more melee. Protect yourself from the dangers of the wasteland with access to the base level and rank 1 armor with mods. Fire up the forge and gain access to base level one. Oh. Heavy gunner. Strong back. Gain plus 25 to carry weight, but you have to have six in strength. And I only have two right now. I mean, I could just deal. I just, just got to get used to my encumbrance levels. Let's see, what do we got for perception? Pickpockets, riflemen, keep your distance long and your kill count high. Attacks with non-automatic rifles. I'm going to take that right now. I like that perk. I like it a lot. And yeah, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to end this session now. I got to do some inventory management, go back to the sanctuary area, 
handle a couple things, maybe build up the base a little bit, but maybe a good stopping point for tonight. As always, thank you guys for hanging out. I had a wonderful time. Really, really enjoying survival mode. Like, I was enjoying my other session a couple days ago. Like, it was a good. I was like, yeah, Fallout 4 is a good game. I'm excited to play it. Now I'm, like, amped up to play it. I can't wait to play it again. And I'll probably be live at the latest on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. Possibly tomorrow night, depending on what my video schedule looks like. I'm going to take a look at that in the morning. So, yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out. As always, appreciate all the donations. You guys did that little brain in the beginning of the stream. Cannon, LJ, Gothwolf, Christopher, Mr. Jack, Mad Max, of course, with the 50 and the 20. Chris, Silver Lightning, Shannon again. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. And uh, Chris, thank you for the 20 gifted memberships also. And welcome to, uh, yeah, welcome to all the new members. Thank you guys for the Twitch Primes and the Tier 1s. Peace. I think we're going to be getting Patch 7 for Baldur's Gate 3 at some point in the future. I saw Enzoville, uh, Enzoville video popped up in my feed the other day, and I guess in the Steam DB files, PG3 is getting ready for Patch 7, so... You know, I want to play Baldur's Gate 3 again, but I just don't think I'm ready for another full playthrough right now. I'm trying to get, like, excited for it again, but we'll see what Patch 7 brings. See ya, Keith. Had a great time, Kit. Definitely will continue playing on survival mode, for sure. At the latest, Thursday night will be part two. Oh, Zyphiel. Shit, I didn't even notice your name. Till now. I don't think you were chatting, though. A little bit of a wake-up call here with, with survival mode, though. I gotta get my shit together for next session. All right, appreciate that, as I feel. Art still needs more views on Twitch. I'm pretty happy with how Twitch is going. I usually have anywhere between 40 and 100 or so. I mean, these are people, well, I guess a lot of you guys used to watch on YouTube, but that's not bad. I've only been streaming on Twitch for four months now, so I can't complain. You know, I would probably have a pop in Twitch channel if I, if Twitch allowed multi-streaming during the launch of Baldur's Gate 3, I could have probably two pretty big chats, but unfortunately you weren't able to multi-stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time back when Baldur's Gate 3 came out. Otherwise, I would have done that, and I think I would have gotten a pretty decent following from that because a lot of people that watch YouTubers for games look for that YouTuber on Twitch, and that's where they watch their live streams. But that's not how it worked out, so it is what it is. We just got to do the slow and steady grind. You know what it's all about, Bug. a sponsored stream coming to you guys possibly on friday or saturday i know i've only done like one other sponsored maybe two sponsored streams in my entire lifetime for uh, an upcoming samurai like game it actually looks pretty cool so we shall see goodbye
Oh, is Danny live right now? Shit, I'm a little bit late for that, but sure, yeah. Uh, those of you guys that are still in the Twitch chat, um, I'll send you guys over to Cully Wallen. You guys are still here. Raid Cully Wallen. There we go. Hopefully I spell it right this time. Last time I tried raiding somebody, we went to the wrong channel. For those of you guys who don't know who Cully Wellen is, uh, her name is Danny, and she is a member of the Wolf Pack and hangs out in this community all the time, so. She has a tattoo of Cullen on her. I don't know where it is, but on her arm or something. Huge dragon 